head underground. Let's do it. Yeah, I mean, yep. this, you know, I mean, we're we're a little bit through the bit of this chapter and this playthrough, I guess. And listen, I knew side quests are not my deal, and going through a couple of side quests is it's obviously going to invoke review. It's going to um, heading back up. Some quests take treasures. And hold up, hold L one to return to overground. Okay. Um, it's going to invoke my opinion and my response and yeah like I, i'm glad it's something that's shared throughout the community because by the standard of the og and by the standard so far that the remake is set these side quests are not up to standard and my problem is not that they don't want to affect the story not that they have built assets and they want to use them and this may fall on the writing team but it's just filler for the sake of filler. It's like, hey, we're remaking this game. We don't want to present a 17 hour game. Can we flesh this out a bit? Yeah, I can write up a couple of quests of cats. That's what it feels like. <laughs> it just feels like unnecessary. It's like, as I would rather have, instead of five hours of side quests, I would rather have two hours of something as an add on to the story that you wrote in that doesn't change it in any way, but is slightly deeper. And I'm sure most FF7 fans would be appreciative of that. Uh, Brandon, I was really young when I played FF7 and I was prepared to get a Japanese anime protagonist beating all the enemies. But when I witnessed his mental breakdown for the first time, I felt this ashamed feeling. I don't want people to see Cloud like this. But when I grew up, I put a bit more thought, no matter how hard one's trying shells, they're still human. You respect and love them for who they are. Yeah. I mean, oh, dude, massive insight. I uh, I didn't look at it, didn't look at it like that. Uh, in terms of it's it's it's, it's really hard because yeah, I was too young to I didn't know. Right? Yeah, I didn't know about mental health when I was that young. Right? I had no, no idea of my own, but I I totally understand what you thought. Like, I expected the same thing, and when it showed like that vulnerability, I guess. You know, regardless if I've experienced that before. And, oh, did I just turn around? Oh my god, I did. Sorry, I was. Oh man. Um, yeah. I was shocked by it because I knew the story we were playing was not, um, like it, it didn't feel the truth. Do you know what I mean? Like when I when the mental health thing came out, it's like when you watch a good like Christopher Nolan film. You know, you kind of like whoa psychological thriller like did i just there's a lot of things that i thought i knew but i don't that's what it felt like to me and i remember being the young age going like maybe all this is bs maybe sephiroth is the good guy you know even to that point i was like nothing i know is for sure now well i'm glad you bring up that point sephiroth being the good guy mm. i just i just want to throw something out there yeah. a lot of people miss Sephiroth wasn't portrayed as objectively evil. He went criminally insane, insane and became a religious fanatic with mother issues. I love that. I love that because it's like this is your this is your enemy. Uh, but he's not he's not incessantly evil. Like you have those moments in the OG where you're with him and he's he's your idol. So Cloud looking up to him, he's just like, yeah. oh, this is the guy I want to be, you know? And he says, you know, the almighty, powerful war hero Sephiroth. This is, this is the guy I always wanted to be. It, it shows a lot of Cloud's character and who he is. So, for the OG to do that, and then like frame Sephiroth in that in that view like it was only really later on that and this is the difference between OG and uh, Remake is that Remake really frames him as someone who's evil and has it out for Cloud big time. Like, you know big time. <laughs> like I'm the biggest yeah big time right like I'm this weird evil enemy of Cloud but that's the great thing about OG is that Sephiroth he was never framed that way in the beginning like in the beginning, like the first sentence you hear about Sephiroth is from President Shinra, President Shinra says, The great war hero Sephiroth. 
That's all he says about him. The great, you will never live up to, and he's talking to Cloud, he's like, you'll never live up to the great war hero Sephiroth. So, for him to say that is, is obviously very, you know, it's, it's a slap in the face to Cloud, obviously. That's what President Shinra is trying to do. But, uh, for it to come out later that Sephiroth still lives and that he kills don't know what happened. President Shinra and his his sword is sticking out of Shinra and you discover that and you're just like, oh Jesus, what's going on here? And then the story develops and the way it does it just it unfolds in this manner which is so intriguing. It's so intriguing for a player just to watch it and see it come through like that. Whereas in this one it's just like he's inserted into every moment you can think of when Cloud is having some sort of brain aneurysm or hangover, <laughs> you know, hard Mako. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's been too much on the Mako. Oh, he stole Wizzle, I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, got a on this thing. Yeah. He, he says that and then a sweeper comes out. <laughs> anyway. So... Just, just the difference is is so clear. Um, I'm not going to say it's, it's necessarily negative because my recent playthroughs of the game have made me very much open to what the developers have in store. Because if you watch the end scenes of the game, it sets it up to be exactly the same. You could try and do the same thing that they did with OG. And this is something I wasn't aware of in the beginning. We'll get into a deeper chat about this in a further playthrough of the game, but I just want to put that out there right now, that Sephiroth and the way he's presented in this game is maybe not the way you think he is being pre presented. So, gotcha. Very excited to get to that bit. Very excited to we... Uh, yeah. Till we get there, and we'll talk about that when we get there. Um, so Brandon was saying, but yeah, start no deep clouds, infinity, and a Barrett's uppercut there. Oh, yes. so make sure you're jumping. Yeah, get into your your weapons and use their yeah, you know, disorder and blade burst. Make sure you're getting proficient in those things. But obviously, you know, clouds. Mental illness is a huge part of the OG. That is a, a central plot point to the story and it's a it's a huge you know there's a huge development as you're playing through the game so the way they handle that in in remake is going to be very interesting and i think that's probably a good sort of tangent we can go on right now because we have seen cloud obviously dealing with what we like to call mako nose beast the, the, the guy has he's had them at more points than he did in the original. So the question's a bit, why? Why was he having those? And why did he have them here in this one and not in the OG? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's a fair question. Like, he seemed to have them in the same places that he had them in the OG, but also in extra places as well. Places which he didn't have them in the OG. So it seems to be in connection with what we talked about in previous streams, which is whenever FF7 Remake seems to go off track from the original storyline, these things seem to come up. Because it's Cloud not so much having a hallucination or something like that. It's Cloud Don't overdo it. being revealed to the real life that's a weird thing to say now that I think about that the real life um, so what we experience through Era is that we know that she has some sort of connection to what's been happening she seems to know things in advance it feels like she's from the future but I don't actually think that's the, that's the case I think she's connected to live stream because we did kind of touch on this She's connected to the live stream because she's etc. and she has that connection. And what that means is she does have the ability to perhaps see into the future. So that's why she knows things that the other guys do not know. 
but she it's not like she knows this full time okay it's not that she has this in her mind 100% of the day as she goes along things kind of come to her and go and I'll show you what I mean by this when we get into the Shinra Tower gotcha. but um it she, she, she's not completely aware, but it does come to her at times, uh, and it's sporadic. It's not, I know what's going on all the time, it's, oh, wait, what's that? And, oh, okay, yeah, no, ooh, no, 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 we don't want to do this, or we so, do want to do this, or whatever. Can I, For can example, I when... You yeah, like when Cloud tried to kill Reno, remember? Yeah. Like, that was like, no, that did not happen in the original. Why are you doing that, Cloud? And Aerith tried to stop Cloud. That's something that didn't... That's, that's why she intervened. Go on. Um, those limits I unlocked, do I have to equip them? <laughs> Silly question, but... It's not so much uh, equipping, but you do need to enable them, yeah, so... Okay, so that's fine, yeah. yeah. Go into the menus afterwards and we'll see if we can't, we can't sort that out. Uh, one thing I want to quickly say is Barret as a uh, short-range character, and the hand is terrible. Like yeah, you, you need to set him up. There's some really cool material combinations you can do, and um, it makes him incredibly fun. Like, he's invincible. You just, like, so run through. Settings? Battle intel, enemy intel, material upgrades. Yeah. I'm going to let you do that for the moment, and I'll just uh, be back in a moment, yeah? Well, I have no idea how to do the... Uh... I assume it would be in battle settings. Nope. Where did I put these new ultimates? Maybe I should... Oh, Infinity's Edge. Okay, yeah, you're right. That's one I should uh, equip. With your saber. I got Hard Edge, that's why. Yeah. <sighs> this this freaking menu, man. Same time, every time. It's not in there, you gotta go into equipment. Ugh, so dumb. Metro, hard edge. Yes, yes, battle settings. Okay, cool. Now we're looking to battle settings. Limit break, ascension, there we go. Uh, catastrophe, and I unlock this one. Done, dolphin flurry. Choose limit break. Cool, thank you, Brandon. Good looking out, good looking out. There we go. Got hard edge. Um, let's make sure that the ability, I guess, is upgraded in battle settings. Finish and there we go. And Barrett's already got his. Cool. Look at this sword. It looks like a cheese knife. So disappointing. We're back in the lab. The lab man. Oh, got a new, uh, new little treasure chest in here. Maybe I missed it on the last playthrough. To be fair, this is quite at the end of the last playthrough. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of boxes on this. Game. Yeah, I mean, I think Stoll raises some good points. It's just. I'm not saying Stoll's wrong. I'm not saying anyone's right. I just. I don't think you can objectively see the flaws if you're such a fan of the OG. Or maybe you can. That's wrong for me to say. I think, yeah, I think the f so far this is not without its flaws and I think we've covered them so far, but however that shouldn't overlook its triumphs because it, it is an amazing game so far. Infinity Zen is very slow ability, but increase your damage when your enemy stagger. So I only use it when there's a stagger. Cool. Um, let's make sure I'm going. Okay, I apparently missed a lot of chat. <laughs> no, no, not really. We're just equipping weapons and going through. I, you know, I... Someone I do want to say is like, not assuming this is the case, because you're, um, wait, did I just do a circle? No. Okay. Let's uh, check up here, see if someone's up here first. And there's nothing. Uh, no, you gotta go um, yeah, down to your right. I feel that it may be harder, you hear growling closer. I feel it may be harder for true, true OG fans, such as yourselves, to objectively, and I'm not assuming this, I'm not saying you both do this or anyone else doing this, 
objectively look at the game as a game, right? You're always going to compare it. Whereas what I'm saying is like, this is pointless. I, I, I'm not harboring on the same thing, but it's pointless. What we're doing. It doesn't further the story. It doesn't further the narrative. What you're supposed to be involved in. And as a new time player, after you. Uh, you know, someone reliving it, but with the lens of I have no idea or remember. Why am I so low? Did I not heal the last one? Wouldn't be me if I didn't heal. Um, let's try it. No, 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 it takes too long. Yeah. Missed it. <laughs> yeah. And he's dead. Um. Missed it again. Show him. Okay. There he goes. Um. Yeah, it's like, do you feel you can look at the game objectively? Like, really? So, you know, that's why I keep... No, I, say, I, like, I keep oh, saying this. It's kind of cool, it's kind of this. But like in reality, like this, this is this is poor direction and poor gaming. Like this is this is filler, man. And every other game would get cussed out for it. And yeah, like we spoke on the Game of the Year awards not too long ago. Stole in terms of other games. I haven't played Ghost of Tsushima yet, but I'm sure you know this was held to a high uh, regard. That seems like Game of the Year 2020, to be fair. <laughs> I mean, well, you know, I haven't played it yet, so I'll, objectively I would have played the big, the big three when I do Last of Us 2, this and that. But this is held to an unfair level because of its predecessor and the OG. However, you can't deny yeah. that on these sections alone, it shouldn't win. You know, this is not because you could have done so much more. I, I can't keep... Wait, what did I just hear? No, I was in the lost... Good. You hear growling. Okay. But you know what I mean? Like, not to hop on about it, but... I just feel it, it could have been done a lot better. Would have been more fruitful and would have added to... Stop. ...the game. Oh, didn't stop. Can't go back. I can go back. Just, just... Yeah, just chill for the sex. Ooh, you can go on the look menu. at him! Yeah. Yeah, yeah just uh, go on the menu. So he's a fire... Um, fire... Is he? Well, he looks it, doesn't he? That looks fire to me. He's actually not weak against anything. Okay. He has no weaknesses. Um, yeah, variant form of the behemoth. They are bred and raised as Shinra lab special specimens, and other monsters quake in fear at the sound of their roar. Cripple and knock down its upper or lower body. While one is knocked down, do the same to the other to stagger the beast. It will continue Poison. if attacked with spells while its horns are intact. So yeah, this is one of those those enemies where you don't necessarily attack it, but you attack its appendages, like horns and upper body okay. and lower body, etc. Because uh... that's what staggers it, and then you go to town. But there's ne not necessarily any kind of magic which is going to give you an advantage over him, unfortunately. So Brandon's saying he's immune to magic until you break his horn, and he's he's yeah. not too fond of poison. So I put poison on an MP up. Um, I'll leave the other guys set as they are, just because kind of think they're. What do you have set. in your accessories? So that's obviously for, for someone who is magic based. You want to give that to them? But what was that? Yeah, put it he's been past like a bunch. Yeah, but well, he's got nothing. So you want to give him something at least. <laughs> he's got the wait. Yeah, you're right. My bad, Barrett. Didn't didn't picture you for a bit of the old uh, necklaces and earrings. Not star pen. I think you want to give him either the circle or the heal healing carinet because, um, or carcinet. Because, it, it, yeah, one increases healing and the other increases magic. Don't so. feel like I should have steel pins on for this. I don't think you should either. Get the big Bertha, mate. It was a boss battle, yeah. Mm, oh, boss battle. Ooh, ooh. Bow, 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 bow,
<laughs> Let's go boss battle. Okay, cool. Uh, and you want to look accessories for everyone else. Um, I'm pretty sure I got some better bangles. Maybe I can uh, put a better bangle on. Magician's bracelet. Oh, magic defense goes down. Defense goes up. Magic. I'll trade that. Yeah. Let's get another one on you. Warding, chakra, assess, ATP boost, prayer, steal. Is there anything to steal from this dude? What's a refocus? Actually, wait, let me. I think there is something to steal from this fella. Is there? Let me just double check. Let's put it on. Let's yes. Go. Enchanted ring. Make sure you get that enchanted ring. Okay. Let's get the auto cure on Barrett. I think that'll be really useful. Sorry, Aerith. Are uh, you not with us? She doesn't need it. She's rotting away in a Shinra cell on the Shinra tower. How do you feel about having to do the uh, Shinra lab for the second time? It's okay. I, I think I've made it pretty clear. My, um, my feelings. Yeah, I agree with you, man. We shouldn't bash this game too hard for the side quest. Yeah. Well, this, yeah. Um, I mean, I this, am, this, though. I, Don't get me wrong. Yeah, no, really no, you am. have to. No, but I, I think you should. I think yeah. you should, and I think you have to, because this game is that kind of a game. As I've said from a couple of streams ago, it is yes. a game of... of um, fantastic ideas, great concepts, paired with very poor execution, and you see this come up again and again and again, and it's just like, okay, we have to be critical of it, otherwise it's not, it's, it's, yeah, we, we just have to do that as, as, lovers of the game because if we just heap praise onto this if we just say oh everything's perfect then that that doesn't give any good form of feedback that the company can really improve upon so it's super important that we say where we think it could be better and Anthony's so i uh with... yeah i'm kind of throwing the fight at this point because i just found out the horn's immune every attack i just did was immune. Wow. Wow. Certainly gave you a gave you a hard time. I mean the one thing I noticed then was I wasn't fully healed though. That's something that I need to make sure I do. Um yeah, we you're right. We should bash it from a side quest. That's I think I think you should should bash the things that it should about, but also harp on how good it is for the things that it is good at. You just gotta do them both. Like if, if we're going to be in a position to talk about this game, if we're going to do a stream like this, then we've got to say how good it is, but we've also got to say how, how bad it is. Never seen him yet. Why is he in a loading screen? It's um, coming, mate. It's coming. Oh, yeah. Rub those hands together. I, oh, I just wanted to heal first or get the get the ether. Sipping on that ether. Okay, so... Um, was it Cloud Sword that was... Oh, body. Let's try that. Use Barrett's like um. You only attack the whole staggered. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah, go for the lower body in the beginning. Make sure you hit that lower body. Like that's your target point, because that will stagger it, and then you can go for its horn. Yeah, Tifa, get her under there with the the focus thrust or whatever it is. Not focus shallow. strike. No, the focus one's better, but um, it's not bad, I guess. Focus strike. Let's get Cloud in there with his focus strike. Thrust. Focus thrust. thrust. Oh man, I remember the names. As I said, immune, immune, immune. It just seems like it's immune okay. to all Barrett. Maybe it's just that. Poison. Fire. Poison. Fire, yeah. He's on. Oh, Cloud missed. Of course, Cloud missed. Why wouldn't he miss? He's not happy about this. He's. He's not. Triple slashing. Yeah, it's we need to be balanced, we need to be fair. But exactly. 
I don't think there's anything wrong with saying I love the rest of the game. The battle system is second to none so far, but you got to say that this is knowing it's, it's a remake. It's fluff. Um, that's you're right. That's what it is, man. It's fluff. I, I don't mind this actual particular battle, and I love that they foreshadowed it before. Come on, Baron! When, You're supposed to auto heal. What the farm bag? Okay. When when you walk past your first time in the lab here, you just hear the roar of it, and it scared the crap out of me. And and Ant said the same thing. He's like, "Wow, that actually did scare me." It's just like this roar, and you, you can't see it. And that's it. That's them. You know, that, that's them implementing the whole jaws, uh, the whole jaws technique to scare. The audience, the viewers, fantastically executed. So, great job there. But, but, uh, side quest in itself is kind of like, you know, what are we down here for? Do you know why yeah. we're down here, Ann? And I think that's a. We, we're down here because Wyman said, oh, there seems to be some kind of monsters running around. And then the doctor's like, oh, we need some kind of, like, you know, mystical monster horn. To make our medicine. Swear okay, I, that's I, what we're looking for. <laughs> All right. I swear I got teeth <laughs> off. Just so. Nah, it probably did. Do I have a mega potion? That looks up. All right, watch and learn. But I like I like the inclusion of the behemoth because the behemoth is kind of like one of those classic Final Fantasy characters that has to be represented. It's just it's always there in every Final Fantasy. So for them to not include it because Neo G he comes up later, then. I would have been like, no. Nah. Yeah. I think I think this is probably a good good use of the the character or the enemy or the monster in itself. Focus lower body, lower body people. Just get that thing staggered. Staggered. That's when you go from the horn. Yeah. I don't know, man. It's I, I think you can hear it in our, in our kind of commentary on what we're talking about. And yeah, man, it's... Here it comes. This isn't thrilling gameplay. This isn't thrilling storytelling. I hate to keep harping on about it, but uh, yeah, I think it's a mm. fair criticism. Um, when it could have been easily though, been changed to. Tifa, it it could have easily been... been could have easily been something way better, obviously, yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah. And um, people had these criticisms of Final Fantasy XV as well, so this is where you kind of start making some logical connections here in terms of what was going on with the development of this game, because what we know from development of this game is that it was far from um, <laughs> a non-eventful, you know. There was a very bumpy line in terms of production when it comes to Final Fantasy 7 Remake and we, we know this you know, it was actually outsourced to a separate company and then Square Enix said no, not happy at all with your production, taking it all now in house so from an outsider's perspective when, when we all heard that you know, that raised a number of eyebrows you know, we were all like Mm. Excited for the uh, end product here. Oh, I thought I could question do this. mark, question mark, question mark. Um, and and I think that goes two two ways because if you look at the original trailer, the original trailer has all those dark themes that we mentioned in the beginning. You were talking about like the darkness of Final Fantasy VII. I think the original trailer captures that so much better than anything else that came after that. I think this actually is relying upon the original company that they were doing work with. And this works two ways, and I'll get into it in a sec. First way is, I 
think they were focused on the darkness of FF7, and they captured it well. Whereas the rem- this this thing from Square Enix, they no, they they didn't they didn't capture the darkness of FF7 well at all. And I think that's probably one of the, the most sour points for an OG player in that it, it doesn't hit those points of ooh, this is a dark, sad story, and we need to be somber about it. Um. The, the 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 original trailer hits that you know it opens with this this ominous music and it's Sephiroth music this dominus yeah you know like like yeah. like Jaws almost like you're thinking wow when's the shark gonna attack <laughs> you know and then you're seeing Barrett and Cloud just walking through these slums like bumping arms with other people. It's tight, tight quarters, you know. It's just, uh, these are people who are forced in, in, into a position they don't want to be in and they're oppressed, etc. This thing is intense, man. It is, it is. But that is what you expect from the slums. That's what you want. You want this bumper, you know, these shoulder bumping moments like this guy gives you the eye or whatever. That trailer promised so much it promised so much please any OG player when you saw that trailer just it blew you away and you're like this is what they could do with FF did I just miss that limit break again you motherfuckers and I doubt you've been trying to steal from this guy either (laughs) no I just wanted to kill him yeah, it doesn't matter. The Enchanter Ring probably doesn't get you that far anyway. But I just really wanted to harp on that point of the trailer. Like, seriously, watch that initial trailer from 2015 or whatever it was, the E3 2015, in comparison to any trailer that came after that. And you see the night and day difference. You just see it, and it just it resonates with you. You're like, that was what we wanted that darkness that that ominous feeling of dread yeah. the dread which just builds up with the music and the oh my god and the and you're thinking oh my god here comes Sephiroth and we're all gonna die that's basically what you're thinking fair um I'm not saying that this didn't deliver please don't don't take from this this guy hates on remake and he's not happy with it because I am super stoked with it. I'm super stoked with it. I'm simply just expressing my gripes because I feel like it could have been slightly better. Could have been a little bit better. And and this is why this game <laughs> this is why this game has so many things to talk about because of because of this. That's why we're here. There is a lot to talk about. Yeah. Okay. There we go, Behemoth done. Uh, go to the wall. Take a peek. <laughs> Not there. Oh, that wall. Oh, this one. So it was just locked down here the whole time? Wait, just scratching away at the walls. Yeah, just clearly. Wanted, it just wandered out, man. Understandable. Wait, that's the way I came. No, 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 no. no. Hit the map. There's got to be like a... Nothing. Use survival vest on Barrett later in endgame. He has the highest armor, and FF7 has this curving stat on armor unlike Dodo. Or. Unlike Dodo. It's basically double health. What you said, we realized from Warcraft a couple of your health by. Point. Jesus, Brandon, coming in with the knowledge. On low level 1% armor yeah. to 20% armor. Layering reduction. on the knowledge. I mean, you're talking okay, about and- maths. Jesus. There should be a wall which you can shoot away with Barrett. Like, he'll shoot away the wall. I'm pretty sure it's the opposite wall, the one that you're looking at now. Yeah, that one. So then, yeah, go to that wall and just have a look a little walk along and you should be able to shoot away at it with Barrett's gun. Huh? Hit, 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 um, hit the map. It's the wall to the south. Yeah. Like, to the south of the map. There, where your cursor is. Yeah. This one. Yeah. Give us the shooting cursor. I'd imagine it would be that, but it's not there. Can't climb up there, no. Wow. No, like, we want to progress further here. But... Another glitch. What the F? 
could basically reduce any damage to 3% with max level Barrett. Nice! I, uh, I, I'll be honest, I really don't look that deep into these kind of systems. It'll probably benefit my gameplay to do, or my enjoyment of the game. Okay, so maybe I'll just go out the door and I'll come back in. Hopefully that'll just, be good. Just try exiting, like... It's odd that it doesn't offer you that moment. Mm. Oh really? You can just walk away? Apparently I can. Maybe if I go back in, is there any... Uh... Yeah, go back in, just to see. There'll this be some second, indication to which... This is the second glitch we've had like this, right? I mean, is it up there? I don't know if it's a glitch, but it just, like, when I completed this, it was so apparent as to which wall I needed to go to. It, it sucks because you're going to miss out on a small cutscene, and it's a... Uh... Maybe I'll heads up. I'm going to say, it's not, the, it's not a non-massive one. Just, yeah, head up. Where you go. Oh man, that sucks. I'm with you, Brandon. Hold L1 to exit this place. Yeah, but Brandon, what about the cutscene you just missed? I mean, I think we've already deduced that these side quests are not adding anything, so I'm not concerned about Well, that, that one actually did. That was probably Does the it? most significant storyline-wise. Yeah. What what happens is Barrett shoots through a wall and it creates a crack, and then you all peer through the wall, and what happens is you see all of these humans in these tanks, which are being experimented upon, and it, it's all in darkness as if it's not... not um, here, you head to the doctor. As if it's not um, sort of, you know, been discovered yet. And then all the ghosts start shooting at you, which basically indicates that Cloud shouldn't know the information right now that he was a test subject and he was tested upon. So... Yeah, it's a shame that you missed that because it's kind of, it's a good, it's a good moment just to be like, ah. I think Brandon's saying that it's last session. It's last session, mate. Oh, the doctor, we're here. It's a failed experiment oh, boss battle. Did yeah, you manage I thought to get was... everything I needed? Thank you. This ought to be more than enough. I can see why Eric okay. put trust in Might have been. Might have been. Don't worry. I'll take it from here. You've done more than your fair share cool. already. Here, Anybody feel this. free to I'm comment in the coming. comments <laughs> below and let us know. <laughs> Sweet. See, this is the point where it gets a bit dry, like, okay, what's next? There's no clear next, I have to go up here, right? Let's just catch the chocobo. Yeah, uh, we're to going to Corneo's mansion now. But before you go to Corneo's mansion, just drop in at the uh, the good old um, gym and try and do some squat setups. I'm going to go to the church because there's like uh, one, more, one more green exclamation mark at the church. Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, no, you're right. Go to the church and finish up that uh, side quest. Yeah, I mean, it's... Wait, wait, wait. Oh, latte, please. Thank uh, you very much. On the go. Yeah. Cheers. Got my Pret subscription card. Uh, where's this chocobo? To the right. I, um... So do you do you feel like you're wandering between the different slums and you've got an open world kind of feeling? No. Like from what you're doing right now? No? Well, that's all three missing birds. Don't know what I would have done without y'all. Now we can get it's back shame, to business. <laughs> um where's the church? Evergreen Wall Market Church. Um no, I don't. I don't feel that at all. I don't feel uh, Come on, let's try. It's always it's always weird with open world games for lack of a better terminology, like I platinum the Spider-Man, I played Red Dead 2 for a long, long time, just hunting bears and getting kilts and pelts and whatnot. This, like I said, I can't put this any other way than it feels like filler, which is what it is. And they didn't try and dress it up, is I guess my ultimate point. It sucks. It sucks that I keep coming back to that. How's these two? They're like, hey, yep. Church is open. I mean, we've got some renos, mate. There's a big hole in the ceiling, but, you know, beat my guest. Flowers growing through the floorboards. Yeah. 
more than even he knows if the rumors are true. Yeah, we were just down there. I thought you were going to give us something, no? Wasn't there like a... Yeah, 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 talk to her. She should give you something. She just said something that about... reminds me. Someone spotted a tacky looking door. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not quite ready yet. You're not quite ready yet, Padawan. We need to go to Cornelio's mansion. I did say that, though. I said go You're to right. Cornelio's mansion. And... Does she yeah. know this is costing us 300 gil every trip? <laughs> it shouldn't because actually after you completed the chocobo quest you should be getting trips for free he gives oh, you like so a travel pass exactly exactly like you asked for you're like give me a free travel pass yeah. and and i'm thinking in my mind i'm like mm, that's what he offers you once you complete his quests yeah i mean it's it, yeah it's quite clear i haven't been paying too much attention <laughs> to these particular dialogue scenes between these guys yeah, I mean, look, it, it's a side quest. This isn't necessarily the most, you know, riveting story points of the game. It's. It we still need is. to go to the gym, but, though. We got the squat challenge, which is probably going to be the highlight of this whole particular playthrough right now, because the side quests certainly aren't doing it. <laughs> so, Brandon, do you have any particular challenges you can set when it when it comes to? We've got the level three the challenge, the gym. gym, weapon store, souvenir. Where is the gym? I remember it being up. Just, the just see that space that hasn't been explored in between in where there. you just were. No, across. Yeah. No, across yeah. the other way. There, there. That's gotcha. it. Gotcha. Left and left. I mean, I kind of did explore it though. Forgive me for not trying to. I saw it with my Let's see where that is. You're right. I mean, you've been you've been through before, but it's been hours. this oh, game doesn't seem to counter that way. Nope. Not yet. Good one, Andrea. He's just. Where's uh? Where's old love? There she is. For there he is. It's, it's Jules. Jules isn't a woman. He's been at it half the day. Just finished the pull up level 3 times challenge. Cloud. How are Here you? Is RuPaul. you know what's I'm funny about it, Andrea? Is it's that outside. in German he has a completely different name. Like, Sorry, why? Because Andrea awesome. is actually a German name. Well, well. <laughs> so weird. Okay. What, do what, we what have is it? Here? In I German. can see you're someone who likes to train to be the very best. Me? Hmm? I don't remember. Slender yet toned, and that perfectly balanced. All right, so I can tell from a glance that you learned from. I feel of all the challenges that have been said, this is probably going to be the hardest. Judging on which can only the way Brandon's hyping it up, you're conflicted. It's super hard, he tells me. I cried doing it. Excuse me. Okay. While you're here, ah, I don't know about that. Wake up a sweat, you just ate it. Some endorphins. Start with you. You just need to know the like the flow of it. Like it has a particular flow. Let's go. All right then. The winner will be the one who does the most pull-ups. Yes. It's just the two of us now. Uh, oh my god. Forgive me. Let's move this face cam. <laughs> How many times did you fail stall at this? Mm, good question. Good question. Form more I, I'm not going to say I won it first time because I'm sure I didn't. I'm sure I didn't. Follow the on-screen guide. Press the corresponding button to the right mode to confirm pull-ups. Oh, it's just a, it's just a button. Okay, cool. Let's go. Like max three times. I'm going to say max three times, but I'm pretty sure I got it within the third. And, and I made it. A, I made a deal of like actually completing this. So I didn't, I didn't progress the game until I actually won the highest level of what you could win through this. Come on! 
He's an odd character, isn't he? Like, uh, isn't he just? I'm trying to find out his German name, but it's it's actually even tough just doing a quick Google search and finding it. It's very sim simple and similar. It's like Andren or something. What the, I mean, the the odd thing about it is that Andrea is actually a German name, and they don't use the German name. They use something weird. Yeah, okay, level one, okay. easy peasy, sure. Level two. I wonder if they nerfed the challenge. Yeah. Wait, that was level two. Where's level three? It seems you bested. Of course, I bested you, bro. I can't believe. But I, I think they do I nerf won. every single challenge in this game. If you don't complete it like within three turns, then they seem to like make the difficulty easier so that you do. Okay. No, thank you for the same. To commemorate the evening, I would be honored if you joined me on stage for a performance someday. <laughs> okay. So you need to do at least forty-six. So I was nowhere near. Should I give it one more go? Can I go back? There's always. Are you time confident you can make it? I mean, I felt yeah. Do I talk to... Do I just walk over there, or...? Pull-ups, baby. No? Okay. Doesn't work like that. Let's go, Jules. There's always time for training. I don't, I don't think I can do it. What does this guy say? Looking to work up a sweat? Pull-ups. Challenge Ronnie. Now don't go crying to mommy. Oh, I was starting to get it then. I was really starting to feel the rhythm, feel the rhyme. Okay. Can't go too quick. Can't do too. Yeah, you gotta get your timing right. I knew you could do it. Oh, man, super difficult to find. Anything about that guy? Oh, I can feel I fucked it. I fucked it. <laughs> Got too, got too keen, got too keen. Jump up, Chief. I still beat him. Forty-six seems like a stretch. I don't know how anyone could get forty-six. That's insane. That's perfect, right? You have to be perfect. Does Twitch chat delay get longer the longer you stream? Because I swear to God, I wait for a solid thirty seconds before my messages appear. Ah, uh, yeah, I think there is. I, I guess it depends for anywhere parts you are. Maybe just log in and log back out. Oh, log out and log back in. Maybe that might help. Uh, let me just change this face cam so I can at least see the dialogue. I, I think it's more to do with um, just just the chat itself more than anything. Like, it seems to be super laggy. Like, I don't... I have so many issues with the chat, even though I'm, you know, right here trying to follow it and mm. comment as much as possible. So, yeah, I don't get it. Subterranean Menace? Isn't that the one that I just done? Corneo's Mansion, you want to go up to Corneo's Mansion. Oh, we're going. Yeah, I'm not too sure, uh, Brandon, about the Twitch channel. I mean, to be honest, I apologize if you find there's a big delay I'm trying to uh, respond to your comments as quickly as I can or as soon as they come up and I read them. But yeah, they, they, um, they nerfed the game. Yeah, that's... Uh, I mean, the stakes were low, but I feel like that's a challenge that I might be forfeiting because I know for sure I will not get 46. If you're anywhere close to 46, dude, you're a freaking animal. That's insane. I can't imagine the um, how long it takes you to to perfect the timing when the 
the quick time actions go away. Nah, I think I think you get I think you get used to it. Like you just like you're you're really good at tapping those buttons. I feel like you would know what I'm talking about. When, go down there, yeah, for sure. But when when you when you actually when you're doing it, I mm. yeah. Oh, you can see the canister's already open <laughs> before you even got there. Yeah. We got this with T for an Aerith. Okay. Is that why I was coming here? Is there no other side quest here? I'm gonna go upstairs and have a look in Don Canillo's room. Gotcha. Upstairs to Don Canillo's room. I gotta be honest. Yeah, they did nerf the challenge, I think. I mean, yeah, that'd be fair. They need to respond to criticism of the game or, you know, user reviews. So this is not Don Camillo's room. <laughs> nah, that's the, the rape room. Where did room. that slimy fat piece of shit go as well? Where did Newman go? Just ran away, didn't he? Newman? Why is he Newman? <laughs> you watch Seinfeld? Brandon, because I remember reviewers mentioned the challenges are super hard. <laughs> Maybe you're just really good at them, naturally, dude. Long time no see. Ooh, Leslie. <laughs> What brings you back here? Well, we need to find a way. Yeah, this is where the storyline is kind of possible. like good. We figured Cornell ought to know one. Is that so? In that case, I can help. You serious? Then yeah, tell us. Follow me. Let's just hear him out. Come on, Les. <clears throat> Spill the beans, mate. So, what's the deal with the hole? Unfinished business. <laughs> you three give me a Very vague. Mm. I'll give you what you need to get topside. You want us to go back into the sewers with you? So... What's down there? Could we have just skipped all the side quests we've done and just run straight to Leslie? That's where I'm headed. Yep. You're not gonna try to screw us over, are you? If that's what you think, walk away. I'll find somebody else to work with. And you'll have to find out. But there's a lot you would have missed out on. I mean... Alright. We're in. Yeah, fast Say travel. what? <laughs> he betrays us. He dies. But it means in terms of like, if you hadn't completed those side quests, then you wouldn't get the items later. Yeah. He means it. And there's there's a particular side quest that you're half completing now. Good to go. So. I'm good, Leslie. Don't don't challenge me. I'm good. Let's go. Oh, look how seedy Don Canillo's bed is. Look at the dragon. We can't get any closer. So seedy. It would have been so much better if they put like a seedy mirror on the top. <laughs> you guys ready? You definitely do not want to get like one of those purple lights going in that room just to see like <laughs> a blue text. light. Yeah, no. Nah, do light, yeah. Don't get okay. blue lights going here. Follow me. Seriously, what's the deal with the hole? It's a trap for the Don's enemies. What? Put two and two together, no Barrett. Jesus. Alive. Well, until recently, that is. Hmm. So they would have said that, you know? I mean, I guess the plate dropped. A lot of other things happened. They didn't have time to be like Cloud dressed up as a, you know, lady of the evening to impress <laughs> Duncan here. Yeah, I don't. I don't feel like they had enough time just to yeah. like, yeah, cover all the basic points, you know. <laughs> Barrett's like, what's up with you? Well, <laughs> I dance with the honeybee, <laughs> put on an outfit. I mean, you don't know Barrett, but I've got her taking care of your daughter at the moment, so don't worry. <laughs> Basically, right? Yeah. So, yeah, I can imagine 
Barrett going, what's down there? <laughs> oh, here we go. Jabba the Hutt. Oh, Leslie's with us. Let's go, Leslie. You are going to hold up your end of the bargain, right? As long as you hold up yours. I mean, yeah. we've kind of brushed over I this. Trust you and I don't Barrett's like found you. another pair of Oakleys. Second pair of Oakleys. So if you so much as breathe in a suspicious way... Gunpowder. Gun cases. Face of yours into a <laughs> eye protection, mate. Just eye protection. Give you bullets for the monsters if I were you. Some are a lot tougher than you'd think. Brandon, oh yeah, I haven't forgot to I mention I picked the last boss own. yet, but I managed you, to beat hand, Behemoth with the upgrade trouble. challenge. I, right? I have the video recorded. Uh, now I just have to create a channel. Let's get Mate, this over with. Please go for it. I mean, as long as there's no wow. spoilers, I'll watch um, it uh, post gameplay. So I don't want any spoilers, but yeah, for sure, man. You've mentioned that before. You've mentioned that before, Brandon, about creating a channel of some sort. Just do you, man. Just go for it. Yeah, I 100% agree. Can't be more supportive of uh, Brandon actually getting in there and doing it himself. I'll follow a short distance behind. Oh, and I'd actually love to see what the uh, what the so, you know the community says to that because I've actually never heard of that challenge myself. So if you've actually completed that, cool. Love to see uh, see your results. So. You know, I think I think this. Uh, we said it last stream, um, but it's probably something I, I feel I want to say now, Brennan. Yeah, you've been very supportive of this playthrough. For I feel for a novice of myself, like yourself and Stoll are very knowledgeable in the game. And if you haven't deduced this, I'm not a challenge final seven, you know, enthusiast as much as you guys are. This is going to be one of many playthroughs of different games and different genres that I'll go through. And Stoll may be there for some of them, Stoll may be there for some others that aren't, you know. So I just, yeah, like it's nice to know that you get the enjoyment of looking at this. I guess playthrough or game stream. And given all oh, these boys again, yeah, just Ninja Turtles. Yeah, it's 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 cool to hear, man. And yeah, just do it, dude. Just do it. Go through, throw your challenges down. I'd love to see it. As long as there's no spoilers for the story that I haven't reached yet. Keep it together. But I think there's also two worlds that you're, you're kind of talking about right there is that like, you know, there's the game through perspective like kind of like what we're doing and commenting on the storyline as it appears and things that I've obviously noticed and things that you've noticed and I think that's very different to like, you know, being hyper focused on the battle and trying to exploit the oh, battle. Oh, I got toted! Yes! <laughs> Bring it! <laughs> like... Toted's the best! It's the fucking best! Oh my god, sorry. <laughs> Ants just having a moment, Shit. obviously. So, sorry, yeah. I had to mute. I had to mute. Toted is so good. Toted is so good. So good. Yeah, go on, go on, Stoll. Sorry. sorry. <laughs> I, yeah, I was just saying, like, um... Like, yeah, we're, we're more focused on just doing a, a general playthrough of the game and commenting on, on, on things that we see, whereas it sounds like Brandon's super focused on, on, on the battle aspect of things and beating things um, battle-wise, which in itself is a, is a feat on its own, so absolutely should be, should be recognized that way. Um, because it's not easy. It's really not easy, and... It's funny, like, I've only beat the hardest enemies on this game by just jumping on YouTube and looking up a, a quick playthrough on, uh, you know, a strategy to take on a particular enemy. It's it's so helpful just to do that. And um, eye-opening as well to the, the capabilities of the battle system, so... Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're, we're trying to do, like, an all-encompassing thing here, but, um, Brandon, you should, for sure... Get that out there. Just do it. I mean, it's what we've done. Just do it. I just used all that. I mean, it doesn't matter, but I could have just run here. Um, yeah, Brandon was saying, if you look up FF7 OG Challenge uh, online, there's actually a thread for that. There are a lot of people to do 
do no damage with full upgrade, but no damage so far yet. Uh, that doesn't surprise me. That doesn't surprise me. Um, you know, it's not to say that I don't game like that, like, for sure. I mean, yeah, for one, what Star was saying, do it. But I play many games on the most difficult setting just because I think it's the right thing to do. It seems more fun. Last of Us, for example, or those type of playthroughs, like grounded level. Don't hold that. Speaks to FF, isn't it? It's got its own subculture of gaming. Yeah. Well, I like the fact that it's like it's not just a matter of you know completing the game and then on, on normal mode or completing the game on hard mode. It's like, well, the fans actually set challenges. Like, yeah. play the game on hard mode, but then no upgrades. But that's that's just an extra um, challenge set from the community upon itself. So you, you know, you're you, you're setting a challenge that isn't necessarily going to get recognised, but that doesn't take away from it. Because if you can like claim that throughout the community and you show your video, it's just like, whoa, that's off, fella. Yeah, someone I'm here for, man. I'm here for this stuff. Keep those gloves up. But the the FF7, uh, not just the FF7, sorry, the FF, like Final Fantasy community, is full of that. If you go through every FF community, Reddit, whatever, every single Final Fantasy, I'm talking FF1 through to FF15, every single one that's been released, they all have that kind of a community, which... Um, focuses on fan-made challenges, like how can you beat the game, blah blah blah, like FF7 OG. What would, be, OG, but, what would yeah. be a fan-made challenge? What would be your challenge? What would be the stall challenge? I'm not that inventive, to be fair. I'm just not. But what I actually quite like is the speed challenges when it comes to FF7 OG. Like, the the, uh, the record right now is like 4 hours and 39 minutes just to complete the game, which is crazy. Like, how did you complete the game in 4 hours and 39 minutes? glitches? No. No, 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 no glitches. You, you literally just, like, put the menus on fire so that every yeah. single um, speech bubble goes as quick as possible. And it's so... Um, like... The way these guys do it, they, they obviously don't focus on, you know, leveling up and all that sort of thing. They want to try and beat the game at the lowest level possible. Okay, and, yeah, go. just beating a boss will give you a huge advantage. But 4 hours and 30 minutes is crazy. Like, before we even jumped into the stream, I was just watching some guy doing exactly this same thing that I'm talking about. And he was already on, like, 5 hours and 30 minutes, just nowhere yeah. near the end. So... That's crazy. Yeah. I feel you could come up with the... So, oh my god, did I just miss that? Come on. Look, come on, I could man. probably come up with something, I'm sure, if I sat there and thought about it, but... This is not good, by the way, what's happening. I'm... I'm... I'm for the game on a, on a whole. I'm not for the game for a particular aspect yeah. of the game, like the battle system or whatever, I'm in it for the storyline, I'm in it for the battle system, I'm in it for the whole experience, because that's, that's what I signed on for, you know. All the time. Oh my god, oh my god. No holding pits over. Get him out of here. Uh, triple slash. Most recognized Most challenge. recognized challenge is no upgrade challenge for uh, FF7 OG, and maybe only one party member challenge. Ah, oh. oh. that's funny. Like, like they're suggesting things that I've never actually tried. Like the one party member challenge. What that sounds like to me is that you have basically removed everyone out of your party except for Cloud. So you've only got Cloud in your party at that particular time. So that means you have to actually go into battles and fight fights just with Cloud, rather than the two extra party members that would naturally be with you. And if that's the case, that's a pretty funny challenge. Like, just doing it with, you know, one man. It's actually quite fun. It sounds fun. It sounds fun. You're letting the crabs give you a hard time, mate. <laughs> 
No, I got toted twice. Hmm. Yeah, but I'm, I'm. No, I was just about to use that. No, oh my god, this is it. This is it. Oh, this is getting this close. Is this is getting so uh... close. Do not lose. <laughs> I don't know. Re Adams, I just got toted again. No. Why don't I have a Phoenix down? You probably used them all. Alright, we go, we go. Yep, it's Barrett versus Hell the yeah. world, basically. Come on. Are these things weak against anything? Well, apparently they're immune to that. Not that I can think of. I would, I would hit them. Just yeah, fire these these bastards. Just like fire them, whatever. Yeah, Oosh. that easy. Done. <laughs> Good looking. <laughs> that was actually quite funny. Sagan attacks four more times when you're running around. Only move when they want to toad you. Well, I guess, Brandon, I'll be moving all the time because I love the Toad. <laughs> it's probably for my favourite thing I, about this whole game. I don't know how Brandon has all this knowledge in his head. Like, it's kind of crazy. Every single enemy, it's like, it's like, hey, Brandon, and it's just like, bang, he comes out with an answer. Dude, wow. Like, knowledge. Like, I've got to, like, if we were doing this with OG, I feel like I would have a lot more knowledge. Maybe that's, that's it. Maybe maybe I fall more within the OG realm than I do with the remake realm. I, I don't I don't want to say that because it's hard saying that as a as a lover of both. But yeah, anyway, that's what it is. Um, here's the thing, dude. Like I've mentioned Marvel Comics a couple of times already within this whole playthrough, and I'm a I'm a comic reading, comic loving, movie, comic book watching motherfucker, right? don't know anything about it compared to some people man like literally there was like this pub quiz down in london and went to you know in central and i was like yeah i'll do well nah marvel comics quiz bombed it and i know a lot about comics man and i was like oh i'm nowhere near on the level so yeah in terms of uh, in terms of like holding your own in terms of knowledge it's, it's fair man there's some people that are just into things, and that's not bad. Yeah. No, I think I think you're absolutely right. And I've noticed Brandon has got a very in-depth knowledge on the battle system, man. Like, even on times like after playthroughs, I go back and I I look at a walkthrough of what I've just played through to see, you know, whilst I stream if I've missed something or if there's like, you know, a review of it that I've missed and. Yeah, even his knowledge is really on point in terms of battle and the enemies you're fighting and how to defeat them. You would it's, it's, that. it's welcome, man. That's what it is. Brandon, I died at least 10 to 30 times per enemy. I basically have that every single attack in green in my brain. I hope that someone will eventually recognize my suffering if I post my video, mate. I don't... Listen, man, I think that's just, this, that's just the game, bro. Nature of the beast. Yeah. What's yeah, on here? I agree. Um, Wait, I need to go up the ladder. It's funny because it kind of like just reminds me of like you know when you're like a five year old kid and you're like trying to compete against other five year old kids, whether yeah, it's like yeah. the two hundred meters or you know any sort of running activity or you you know when you're pitted against that other guy in school, it's just like you know there's four of you or whatever, and you're thinking. Like I, I'm obviously gonna do my best to win this race. It's 200 meters, or let's just change it over. Like if it's a swimming activity, like I'm definitely gonna win. I'm definitely gonna win the the, the breaststroke or you know freestyle. Wait, I feel whatever like I should doing. be going the other way. I'm going down here. I'm going the other way. I feel like I got turned around. Am I right in that? I should be going. Nah, if you're not if you're not experiencing enemies and you're going the wrong way. That's yeah. where you probably want to go, yeah. Yeah, so I should be going through here. Yeah. That's not a wall. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I got turned around. Yeah, yeah, you know, cool. like you're doing like 
like freestyle or whatever, like first time ever, and then you're you're pitted against your peers, and you kind of feel like, oh, I know that kid, and and you never would have expected them to be quick, but all of a sudden, you know, it's you versus them, and they might beat you, and it's such a realization for you because you're thinking, you know, I can't be the best at everything, you know. Like, okay, maybe I know a bit about it. Like, maybe I'm pretty quick at freestyle, whatever. I'm clearly not as fast as that guy. That guy's just faster than me. Like, there's no, there's no, I'm not, ca I'm not catching that guy. And then, there's this weird daunting feeling for you as a kid where you realize that <laughs> I can't be the be all and end all of everything, you know? So, that's where I'm, like, I, I get that. I get the whole thing. Like, there's, there's always going to be someone smarter than you. There's always going to be someone who's researched more about FF7 enemies than you, so... I don't hold... I don't hold a candle to it. I'm just... Yeah, you know, it doesn't bother just me. doing my own thing. <laughs> dude, that hits home, dude, because you know I used to skate so much when I was young. And I was good. But then the day that I watched some little grommet, like, six years my younger... Just drop in and just, you know, kickflip a nine stair just in the second go that I was trying for hours. I was like, oh yeah, this is over. But it wasn't about it. I was like, I still skateboard. I didn't stop because that dude was better than me. That little Grom. I just kept going because I enjoyed it. That's it. One step at a time, huh? Brandon, hey, you know what? I'll send the video to you first. I want to get your opinion before posting on mine. I'll tell you what, send it to both of us, man. Yeah. You know, Star would really like to uh, like to watch that as well. And mate, if that's what you want to do, yeah, do it, dude. But honestly, but, like, but on the other hand as well, like don't don't let our yeah. like thoughts or anything like that influence you because you fast. you're your own person, man. You've got your own thoughts. I mean, who knows? Maybe maybe you're actually better at this sort of thing than we are. Like like for sure, that could well be the case. So. Don't, don't ever... I, I rushed into this big time. <laughs> <laughs> You're just getting poisoned and toted, like, oh all around. Oh my god. Okay. Cloud doesn't have yep. that. Fuck it. Let's go out on our sword. Like, if you've got any sort of... I don't know, urgency to get that video out and just do it, but for sure, like, like, uh, absolutely have a look over it for you if you, if that's what you'd like us to do, for sure. Ooh. How do I uninstall the game? <laughs> uh, I think it's the options button when you're in the menu. Just uh, hover over the game and just hit uh, yeah, uninstall application. It's like it occurred to me that the uh, all my PS4 games are saved on the back of a hard drive, external hard drive. To my PS5, so I may as well just yank that out. Uh, I'm afraid, I'm afraid of that too. There's always someone better. So I'm thinking making it as a funny compilation with my death montage and stuff. Brandon, okay, let's go. I wouldn't worry I would... about what someone else may think, man. If you yeah, want to make a death montage, yeah, that... make a death montage. If you want to make a playthrough, make a playthrough. Uh, as I said before, this one. Uh, Keep it together. Yeah. Make Hello. both. Yeah. Yeah. To you, like, I want to see the death montage and just, like, watch you die. But then I want to see, you know, you win. You can make that in two separate videos if you like, or you can oh, make it in a, a single one. Like, just to show you how you overcame it. But well, it's up to you. Oh my god, I just knew he was going to tote us. I fucking missed it. This is, this is, this, these guys are tough. These guys, okay. Wouldn't be me. I wouldn't, wouldn't be our stream if I didn't die four or five times in this fashion. I wish I had, like, some sort of limit break right now. Do you know what I mean? So this is where I really want to bring you back. Bring you back to the, you know, second death right now. And all we're trying to do is fourth, some random fourth side death. quest. Fourth death. fourth death. Like, random side quest. How do you feel about this, Ant? <laughs> <laughs> Mate, go watch the Like, last if this was some sort of a hours. boss, you'd kind of be like, you kind of be like, okay, I understand, but no, this is really like infringing on your gameplay right now. Yeah, big time, big time. It was always infringing. This whole episode is infringement on my enjoyment. If if we weren't talking what we we're talking about, then I wouldn't care. 
Like, I would, would not care for this, but... Okay. Let's make sure we're all healed. Commands menu. Spells. That's why. Cura. Let's get that going. Yeah, this is, this is just... Nah, I think it's Ninja Turtle just walking around with this trident. Look at just like, yeah, just... Just planting just, these uh, fucking flat foot and fucking the crab. I don't watch Spongebob, but I'm sure it would make a meme there. Brandon, it's been great finding a fellow FF7 geek here in Twitch. It keeps motivation up and finishing the challenge. Yeah, go for it, dude. Glad we can provide that, dude. I'm glad, well, all of them also, being the FF geek, that he could provide that for you, dude. It's good. Such a multi or multi faceted game that mm. you've, you've got so many aspects that you're looking at this game at. So if, if if that's what floats your boat, my friend, I'm I'm glad that we've been able to provide that to you because when we put this out, it was it was it wasn't necessarily that. It was honestly just you know it's just me and my friend. I just want to show him this game and why not just put it out into the ether and and show everybody as we do it because that's. that's basically what we're about it's just like let's just play a game together um but i obviously have a lot of emotion invested in this game it's so clear when you hear me talk about it but um if that's what's given you motivation if that's helped you um we, we feel honored and blessed sure um it's, it's actually kind of funny because i was thinking about this the other night right like Oh my god, what's going on? Why? Who's immune to that? This crap, this crap, dude. Um, uh, I play a lot of games, Brenner, a lot of games, man. Both myself and Stoll play a lot of games, and uh, the worry come in, like, I, I'm not trying to be a Final Fantasy VII playthrough artist with Stoll or gameplay creator, you know? Like, I play a lot of games, and I like to just share in games with everyone. You know, would we have the same interaction as someone who loves Resident Evil as much as we do? I'm about to lose this fight again. This is crazy, man. Heal up. I'm trying. No, got no ATP. Toted. Just toted. But you know, it doesn't matter. That's why I came to the conclusion. It just doesn't matter. Just do what you find fun. That's it. If you're expecting things, then you're only going to let yourself down. Yep. Toted it. Oh my god. How do I beat these guys? What are their weak... Uh, yeah, we need to reconfigure this. I can't be dying five straight times. Let's go, Barrett. Let's go leapfrog abilities. Let's get rid of this one. Wow, and the thing is, if you're, if you're losing against these guys, then um, we've got big problems coming up later. So... Okay. Brandon? Tips? <laughs> Brady games? <laughs> Speaking of... No. Get your fire out. Obviously, yeah. get oh, your fire out. Oh, is that what the weak? Has that been doing? Like, listen, this whole side quest, I haven't used magic twice, three times. You need to be casting magic. You need to be casting it. Don't run around. Good tip. As they even told you. Yeah, good tip. Love the toad, though. Love the toad. Whilst okay. you're in human form, just cast as much magic as possible on the one perpetrator because the. the the less perpetrators you have, the quicker you are going to be to get through this battle. I think your bigger threat are the Ninja Turtles. They're not so much the crabs. Yeah, I agree. So in the beginning, forget the crabs. Just aim for the turtles and get rid of them because these guys are obviously giving you a hard time. So kind of what I've been trying. Hit, hit them for six. Fire. Elemental. Cool. Magnify on fire. Bring the fire. Bring the fire. It sounds like ice is actually something that they're weak to. Is this mm. is this something I'm not aware about, Brandon? Like, hit us up with that quickly if you can. Nice. Wait. Claws. Ooh, the mithril claws. Ooh, I didn't even have it equipped. Get those on. Get those on. This, fucking, those this on. fucking menu, man. This menu. <laughs> Two things, developers. Side quests and menus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
have it. Always down clouds punish your counter mode, but I know Anne hates doing that. I mean, no, I know, no, no, I'm the one that hates that, not Anne. Anne hasn't even tested it, but yeah. I, well, I, I just, I wouldn't hate something I don't know about. <laughs> Give it a go. Give it a go. But I have not had any success with it. It's only it's just like. I mean, what I yeah. mean is, I just button mash, basically. I play too many adventure games where you got to just button mash and dodge. That, yeah. Look at him. Look at him. Fucking long neck, tail having, flat footed. Fuck. Let's go. Right. <laughs> We're attacking this guy. That right sounds like like real hate. <laughs> like real hate heaped upon these tortoises. Uh, spells. <laughs> Was it Blizzard or Fire on the Sagans? Use Magnify Material. Oh, I don't know, fire. I don't know. Okay, go with Fire. Go with Fire. Fire is your, your choice. And it was a Fire! Yeah. Let's go, Barret. Oosh! Oh, look at this, we are smashing them. Hello, get that fire in there! Sorry, that is so. Magnify, baby! Oh, <laughs> It's like, give us two seconds just to focus on this battle, and we'll smash him. <laughs> let's see if we can end it in some, uh... No, let's, let's, where's Tifa? Starship. Ooh, Shy Trap. Gotta learn that. Let's go Shy Trap. Done. It makes me feel <laughs> oh, like... Wow. Like... And Barret steals it's things like, we later when we were overwhelmed by Prince. Oh, we're gonna have to face the Prince again. Let's go. It's just, like... It makes me feel like such a mug, you know, that... You just didn't think of just to focus on your battle plan. <laughs> just here I am just talking about FF7 with you. two was so knowledgeable about it and I'm just a mug, you know, and just... Oh, just a quick fire, bro. Use fire. Oh, use fire? Really? Oh, yeah, I beat the fucking bosses in like 30 seconds as opposed to the five other deaths I had. It's so bad. Then again, each to their own. Let's go. No, no, no. I, I disagree. It's because um, it's because the battle system itself is so complex that you are forced to like think how you're going to defeat a specific enemy, and without this outside knowledge, sometimes you can find yourself just you know you, you, you're packed into a little um, corner. You. You're not, just not thinking outside of the square, and that's that's what happened just there. You know, like they weren't necessarily a formidable enemy in any way, shape, or form. The problem was just weren't thinking out of the box. You're just like, oh, I, I, of course I can hack these guys. I'll just hack them to pieces like I have been going like the whole time. Sorry, mate. It, the game doesn't work that way. And and I love. I love the game for that fact that it shows you when you're being silly. You're it's good. just like, yeah. don't get cocky around me. Don't get cocky around yeah, me. You yeah, think you just walk in here with your. <laughs> very much showed me I was being silly. Yeah. Or just not thinking. Like, it wants you to challenge yourself against its enemies and. Yep. That's what's happened. That's what happened, and it's charger. So I'm just getting, uh, getting a little texty through. So I'm to clear it. Oh, here we go. Okay, Prince, Prince Saigon. No, this feels like a bus fight. No, where at? Finding Nemo in the middle. Focus on him. He's gonna make us fall asleep. Blue girl. Uh, Nemo. Here. Uh, what's a stamp? Stamp up on the wall there, by the way. Take the lead. Oh, your... This new ability, this shy trap, is crazy. <sighs> Worked up a good sweat. Oh, just sucks them into it. Yeah, yeah. Here you did, Tifa. Can't go that way. Gotta go this way. Right, how's our health? 
items, ethers. I'm sure you'll come up to a bench soon, and if you do, like, stock up on some ethers and... Phoenix Downs? Phoenix Downs. Stay yeah, for sure. Right. right. Jesse and Big stash the skeleton key down here. Ah, the skeleton key. I never key. got the chance to thank them for what they did. Tifa. Let's mm. just keep moving, okay? Biggest opportunity. Right. Here he is, Leslie. The trunk line's just through that door. The one over there. Yeah, we heard you. Apparently he was there the whole time. <laughs> Just creeping behind you. But like, make the side quests around those deaths, you know? Jesse, Biggs, Wedge. Do some side quests hey, around that. Make it hit time. harder. This way. Wow. Am I right or am I wrong? No, you're right. I just it just feels so much slower that it took so long to come to that point where you are right now. Yeah. Well, that's because I died six times to a Saigon. Hey, right. Wasn't this locked before? Your time mm. to shine. Clear the path ahead, would you? Yeah, yeah. Can I ask you something? Why did you help us out before? You could have lost everything. No, quick intermission for myself. Okay. Before losing the cool. Yeah, really fine. It's fine. And I bring to let I'll uh, take over. Huh? It doesn't matter. Let's go. Yeah. Leslie's pushing us down a particular path right now, but as we know, Leslie was clearly the one that helped us to get out of the situation before, which is something that he actually. You know, was spoken upon just a moment ago. Was that was that Barra or Tifa? Just like, yeah, well, why did you help us before? Like, and you know, clearly Leslie has his own thing going on here, and that's what this whole side quest is about. Like, we're not going down into the basement, into the sewers, just to, I don't know what we're doing, chase a key. No, it's more about Leslie and more about Leslie's backstory. This is an opportunity. For the developers to expand upon Leslie's backstory. That's basically what we're doing down here. I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing because hearing more about Leslie is actually quite interesting. And we've talked a lot in this podcast. Sorry, podcast, I don't know if that's a correct term for this. Sorry. Um, in this stream about uh, particular characters doing specific things and you know more specifically we've talked about Leslie uh, not having so much of a role to play and then when we get down here and we actually do these things giving a character more life and when we progress a little bit more once we get past this these few little hurdles you will see uh, a little more life given to Leslie. It's funny because Leslie was not a character in the OG. You know, he just wasn't included whatsoever. So I like that it was just this guy who was a bouncer at the door when you're trying to get in. You know, trying to be a man wearing a dress trying to get in, and he's just like, "Are you serious?" And then he comes in with swords and whatever, all your your gear when you're ready to progress because you've obviously taken over the place and this is no no different Leslie is obviously trying to achieve his goals and where where is proxy where achieving his goals for him so without any further ado let's uh let's achieve Leslie's goals for him Yeah, I've been wondering that, about uh, Leslie's little input. Apologies, my headphones were just about to die. Oh, more crabbies. Crab, crab, crabs. But this is this is what I was saying. Like, I don't think that Leslie's little input here is necessarily a, a poor decision choice, because I feel like it adds more than it attracts. Yeah, and that's the point, like... 
I feel like we're just beating a dead horse, man. Could you have made these side quests more engaging? Absolutely. And that's how you do it. You do it through these characters who you've met already and add to the story from their point of view. But I think this one's probably a better, like, one of the better ones. Oh yeah, yeah. for sure, for sure. I mean, it's not a side quest though, it's a main story. You couldn't do this. This is the story, right? Keep it up, man. Well, yes and no. The thing is that you, you could have actually completely left this. Like, you could have not mm, talked okay. about any of this, and it wouldn't have had any impact on the main story whatsoever. But... Just... Yeah, door to your left. Oh, door? Oh, I Wait, thought I had yeah. to talk to him. <laughs> Yeah, but because... We're getting close. Um, Excuse you, Leslie, please. Yeah. After you, mate. <laughs> Seems like somebody has an appointment here. Yeah. <laughs> Just doing the moonwalk as he went by you there. Yeah. Um, yeah, Ranch. but... You track. Do you know that one? The chase. Is this with our old mate Roche? Yeah, you get the discount ones. Of course. Hey mate, what do you got on sale? Oh dude, I'm, I've got a lot of coin. What's going on here? Uh, don't need that. That seems pretty Is advantageous you discount? Y you want to have at least one. As I said, catch them all. You want to have at least one of everything. Mm. So I'm sure Aerith could make good use of that. Yeah, that's what I bought it, yeah. Okay. Ooh, boxes. And here we go. Let's go, Leslie. Where are we going? Where are you taking this? Us? It. Yeah. So how are we supposed to get topside? Hold L one. Didn't you know? Then you're telling me we're not done. Sorry, guys, but it's not that simple. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Pumba Nugget. <laughs> Nugget. No! Oh, Wait! God. We gotta catch him! Huh? He took the key to the door! Without it, we're screwed! Let's go. Alright, yeah, I'm down. I'm down with this. Let's go. Bastard went that way! That's that. I, I really dislike the look of this sword though. Looks like a cheese knife. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, uh, the problem is that the hard edge holds a special place within me as it does any OG player. The fact is, the hard edge is. It's an OG sword, so yeah. uh, we spoke about Aerith and Elagor, and I could not have contained my happiness um, or how ecstatic I was that when you fought Elagor, you could actually steal a particular weapon from him that was for Aerith. Yeah. Because in the OG, this is a kind of weapon that you would steal, and it would give you four materia slots. Two of them join, and you're like, "Oh my god, I can't believe that you got this!" Like a far more advanced weapon than what you would normally be gifted with at this, at this particular point in the game. So players in the know, when they play the OG, they're like, "Oh yeah, I know this weapon's coming up, and I'm going to steal this from Alicor." So it's like. It's it's really really it's good, you know. Like to, just for the the remake to acknowledge that it's just like yeah we we see you, you know. Like and we want to we want to acknowledge that. That's why we'll give this weapon to that person. So what is the hard edge? The hard edge for me is exactly the same. It's that kind of a weapon, you know. It's the it is a 
four slotted weapon, two joined slots. So two joined, two non-joined. And you always steal these ones. Always in the OG. You steal you steal the the star from Elagor, you steal the hard edge, the one you've got right now, from Sinra uh, Sinra? Shinra first soldiers. And um it's kind of a weapon that you don't get unless you are perceptive and use your steel material on everyone that you can find and try and you know upgrade yourself in that way so for for it to appear in this game is obviously huge so you know every og player is just like oh fuck yeah they got you know got the hard edge at least it's here stoked it's here the way you get it um look i'm gonna be honest even in this playthrough, I wasn't even watching. How did you get that, Ant? Did you just buy it? I, I think you bought it, right? Yeah, I bought it. Uh, yeah. Brandon says, this is my favorite weapon, though. The hard edge, your cheese knife. Yeah. Fair. I it's mean, appropriate. Not... I'll, I'll say it's appropriate, oh, but... The treasure chest. Yeah. It's appropriate, but I don't... Look, it has its moments because... Um, when you look at any paraphernalia from FF7, you know, you see Cloud on a motorbike, and which sword does he have his hand? It's the hard edge. Cloud has the hard edge in his hand when you look at any of those, you know, videos or whatsoever. So, I'm on board with that. I'm on board with... If you really want to show this game off, then... That's what you're doing. Here's what I'll say about it. Looks like you're my, gonna speak looks like, aesthetically, like looks like, my like to the way it actually looks. <laughs> no, but I agree. I agree. It's it's you know you didn't. Come on, man! Don't. Oh, what the fuck? You pique my curiosity with. Uh, it's always on. You're done. Uh, you know when he's on the um. No surprise there. Yeah. Which is cool. I get you. Just not going to be going down anyone's cosplay uniform list anytime soon, is it? Well, bang! I think you hit the nail on the head. Like, what people associate with Cloud is clearly the Buster Sword. Yeah. I mean, no one's running around with the Hard Edge, are they? This disgusting <laughs> fat little toad. Fucking hell. But if we want, if we want to go, like, you know, 1997 advertising campaign, you've got. Terminator on the motorbike here, but he's rather than a shotgun and the glasses, he's got he's got the hard edge. Like that's what he's that's what he's donning, and I'm I'm on board. Like that makes him look like this this tough dude. You know? Yeah. But that's fair. at the same at the same token, he's clearly a product of his um a product of his what do you call that his. Is, is error? Yeah. Yeah. So I've got a question. And this may ruffle feathers. Because I know what I choose. Can I not go up there? Nah. Buster sword or Here gun blade? Because it's easy for me. It's gun blade all day. Well, I feel like you're talking about two specific Keep things that are. You know, they, they relate to two specific things. So, if you're going to talk to me about a Buster Sword, I'm thinking FF7. And if you're going to talk to me about a Gun Blade, then you're talking about me. We're talking know, about FF8. And yeah, but for me, like, if you want to talk about something in terms of storyline and you want to push something, then. then Gun Blade it... comes through. Thank you, Brendan. Yes. Yeah, Gun Blade, bro. Every day. I've got you. I don't know, Star. I, I mean, like, like, dude, I, I like it, but it has to be appropriate. Like, this is, like, I would never want to see Cloud on the motorbike donning a gun blade. I feel you could like, see him with a motorbike. Yeah, yeah, I think I probably could. It's a fair, fair thing to, like, you know, oh my God, maybe insert, insert into my mind. Help your friends. And these guys are like weak to fire, remember? Yeah, I'm trying. Um.
Yeah, just stick Cloud up, heal up, and then hit him with fire. They're pretty easy, actually. Yeah, I just, uh... All the Gunblade Buster Sword talk got me, got, got ahead of me. Nah, but, I mean, we can compare. Steel Skin will block their headbutt. Oh. Okay. Yeah, Steel Skin has, like, this... Yeah. Extra ability that blocks incoming attacks. <sighs> yeah, but I I like I like the uniqueness of a gun blade so much that I want that to just be associated with FF8. Do you get me? Like mm. I don't want you to bring that into the mainstream of FF7 just because just because it's cool. Because it is cool, but for me it's just like look, it's unique keep it that way and keep it with FF8 and it's a, a great thing that makes FF8 stick out over Dude, it was FF7. so good. When I first seen it, I was like, holy baloney, this is the best thing ever. Like, how are you going to top FF7? Gunblade. You know? <laughs> like, that's honestly what it is. Because the intro movie... How you get... The intro movie... How are you going to... Dude. Yeah, I know, but how how are you going to top FF seven? Bust a sword as standard. <laughs> like it's something you can you it's something you can upgrade on, mate. Mm. They killed it. They killed it here in remake. In that they made the bust a sword accessible to doesn't matter what class you are as a fighter. Like you can. You can be the best fighter, but if you upgrade the Buster Sword, then it is on your level of fighting. So, bang. Like, hit every nail on the head there. Yeah, that's fair. That's that's very fair, dude. I, uh, I don't know, dude. I just, I just like the gun blade more than the sword. Like, it's so cool. It's such a cool idea. It's such a cool concept. Like, I hold gun blades in the level of lightsabers. Just, don't, just, don't get me wrong. I just don't do. get me wrong. I, I I love them too. I think they're I think they're fantastic. I think they're both fantastic, but it just comes down to appropriateness and what is appropriate for a specific Final Fantasy and blah blah blah. It's fair, it's fair. Yeah, that's that's what it comes down to for me. So, um. Yeah, big thumbs up, but just not the right FF. <laughs> no, but uh, I mean, that's not my question. My question was, choose one, Buster Sword or, or Gunblade. So uh, you, you want me to like boil it down We're doing a playoff say, bracket. We're doing a playoff bracket because you said so this sword is on the level. It's in all the cutscenes and blah, blah, blah. So I'm asking you, wait. Don't go up. Let's make sure we're healed. I'm asking you choose one. Okay. If it's okay. like, you know, it's the World Cup football pitted against each other was the Gunblade versus the Buster Sword. <laughs> you know, in the second round, what are you choosing? That's uh... that shows more towards the Gunblade. I think that it does. No, I mean, it, it, the fact that it even too. makes you question yeah. that is insane. Yeah. Because everyone Stop stylized, should... like yeah. like style, gunblade, like effectiveness, gunblade. It's like in every avenue I cook, in every avenue, in every avenue I look, it's mm. like I'm thinking it has to be the gunblade. So what what's attracting me to the Buster Sword then? Why? Like, why is that even exactly. in the running? Why? Stand still! Got toted. Fucked it. <laughs> um, it's Gunblade forever, man. Gunblade is so good. Over everything. Nah. And do you know what I actually think? I think we're being a little bit... You know, we have to talk about this. Why do you love... And you just said it. Why do you love the Buster Sword? It's because of this game. It's the game. That's why you love it. No, no. No, it is. The game. It's, it's, it's just the sword. It's because of the iconicness with it. It's the character. It's the story. Now, why do you like the Gunblade? 
FF7. Uh, yeah. So why I, do you like I tried a lot of things there. I tried to chat, but obviously I have no... Um, yeah, the controller does not... <laughs> yeah, that's fair. But, like, why do you like the Gunblade? One, it's an improvement, in my opinion, on the sword. Any sword. Doesn't matter the look. It's just an improvement on the sword. Yeah. Yes. Right. So you have yeah. this Gunblade, you it have is. this functionality. It is. It's like, you, you don't just have a sword anymore. You've also got a gun at the same Infinity, time. Yeah. It's a gun but, and a sword. But like, then, like... dude, then you have that incredible cinematic that stepped it up on PS1 from FF7 graphics to FF8. You know? And wasn't that a step up? Like, that yeah. was... Take the right. Like, that... I don't know if anyone else in the chat felt this, but it was so much... Like, look at the look trailer at this. for this game. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, look at the trailer. Like, they came out with this... Um, this dancing scene and it was just mm -hmm. all FMV uh, cinematics you know the the beach uh, storming in delay like all of that and as as a, as a as an outside participant when you look at that you're just thinking wow they made a game out of this what is this and this kicks butt over yeah. FF7 like that was your thought I mean, marketing-wise, killed it. Dude, that's where I make that joke all the time. Crestfus Dominus. Dominus. <laughs> yeah. And then it ends on the feather with the blood out of the cheek of, what's his name, Squall? Oh. Squall, yeah. <sighs> My type. Yeah, man, Gunblade. I think if you did this, for most people, it'd be Gunblade. But where do you see feathers other than that in FF8? Like, can I just post that out there to anybody listening right now? Where do you see feathers except for in the introduction FMV scene other than that? I feel like what they're trying to do is to obviously appeal to a market. It's all marketing. Like... This is everybody that knows who Sephiroth is. This is everyone who knows who the One-Winged Angel is. Blah, blah, blah. Let's yeah. just put feathers in this just to attract people because we know that that kind of makes money. And it's it's a sad thing to say. It's a very, very unfortunate thing to say. But I think that's one of those things, you know, it's just, look... You just have to look at these two things as isolated entities, and I, I, I really cannot push this point enough, particularly to you, Anthony, because I feel like you're very much, you, you do, you do, you're very, very FF8 or FF7, and how is it, and blah, 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 and you and I have actually gone through a small playthrough together with FF8, maybe like 10 years ago or whatever, like crazy. Ah, man. Look, you just gotta exactly as... Exactly as Brandon said it. Like, one of, one of his first chats today was... You have to... Just... Take it for what it is. And... You know, you play your own game. Yeah, absolutely. I agree, 100%. But Gunblade's kinda of dope though, right? <laughs> Nah, I agree with that too. Finish him off. No, go back. What's the hedgehog? The sonic spin. Hold on, Who's got the limit? I don't even have. Fire. I, Get the fire on him. I don't have uh, any more Phoenix Downs. Oh, just. Oh, fuck. Probably wasted that too, by the way. <laughs> Yeah, misses like everything else in this game. Mm -hmm. So what's your LOL, Brandon? <laughs> Give it back. At the drawn-out conclusion of Gunblade. <laughs> yeah, That's me too. I've got to laugh at that too. Baby face laugh. Sorry. Like, That's not your it's... Either. 
Oh, Leslie's backstory coming Leslie in. Family. At life. Yeah, yeah. mate. Yeah, man. Wow. Yeah, cheers to that. Cheers to FF7 life. It was all just a dream. Oh. Wasn't it? Grayscale. Fiance. But one day? No. Time to wake up and forget. She leaving him. Six months ago. On that day, Corneo picked her as a bride, and on the next, she vanished without a trace. But before she did, she gave <laughs> that hits. Salt on the wound. That hurts. Thing cost me a small fortune. It, it's a rough, it's a rough backstory. Why did you want to come down here? Revenge. I'm with that. I'm with that. I, know I, I need feel to that. Go, but I can't. I need closure because without it, I'll never be able to move on. It's fine. As long as you get us topside, we're still in. Feel it. Mm. Thanks. And don't worry. I got you. <sighs> you all right? <laughs> Gorilla fist. Just bang on his shoulder. I know a shortcut. Yeah, Follow man. me. Kawhi landed, mate. Just fucking. Just like. Look at the size of Leslie compared to Barrett. Like that's one dude. Like to Barrett's prove. in the background and yeah. he's the same size. That's like one dude, dude to prove all you want. Prince Shigan, okay. Good looking, Brandon. Is there a bench through here? I'm yeah, it? through the door. I'm just going for a quick pee break. Yeah. I'll be back in a sec. Bench, bench. Anywhere here, bench. Need to rest. Nope. Leslie's off. He's sprinting. I mean, is there any items? I've been playing too much Resident Evil in Last of Us. I'm trying to loot that twisted piece of shit. I'm going to enjoy beating him to a pulp. Cornell's mine and mine alone. Huh? Nice. I'm with, I'm with that. I'm with that. Please. Fine. Ooh, is this another game I get to play? Just smash, smash triangle. You pull the water lever, then go back to fight Prince Shigan. Hmm. Okay, cool. This is the same prince that I beat when I was toted, right? Nothing in here? Okay. At the risk of dying straight away in a battle, I think it's best if I try and see if there's a bench. Move, bro. Let's get up. Nope, far more difficult. Oh, okay. I thought you meant there was no bench and I'm doing a far more difficult but I, I, I know now, yeah. Far more difficult than the first the first guy, okay. But he's weak to fire and you've, you've, you've set us up. Hints and tricks have set us up very well. Why do I get a feeling like there's going to be no bench? No rest break, no no bus stop. Got a little canister so maybe, hope slipping up. Uh, two tasks. Come on, Leslie. That's the way we came. Don't need to go there. Let's see these crates. Maybe I get some. Maintenance kits. Okay. Down there. Oh, we just walk across the sewer ground. Cool. Yeah, ominous music has changed. It's feeling it. Boss fights incoming. It is. Yeah, here it comes. Leslie's just going home with it. He's like, let's get to it. I like Leslie before, yeah, man. Sad. He was just like, Don Canillo is mine. I respect that. Did you? Did you? Did you do like okay, Prince Sahagin, and about did to. you get? Uh, no, it was before this. Did you think he should fight Prince again? Prince Sagan? Who? Myself? Who should yeah, I, I don't think you've done it. I don't think you've done it. I think you need to get out of there. Go. Like, heal up and get out of there. Why? I just don't think you've um, completed the activity yet. Yeah. Oh, Brandon I gotta is saying go you gotta back. go back. 
Okay, okay. Yeah. So do I hold L1? <laughs> nope, it doesn't work in here. How do you go back? No, no, no. Just yeah, exit out of where you are right now. Go back into the hallway. Yeah, go up there. Head back the way you came. Gotcha. Look, I can't guarantee this is going to work because at some places when you say I'm not going to go, yeah, you have to hit that and say like I'm I'm done sort of thing, but. This is the way I came. Yep, I got that letter. It's those boxes, that's for sure. Hmm. I mean, I'm kind of, I've been alluding to it this whole chat. On this particular chapter. And... Uh, where am I trying to go? There, right? Shoot forward, left, left, left. Okay. Is that right? I don't know. It doesn't look right. But, yeah. Feels like LA. Show yeah. me some other screens. Yeah. Get you, I think you're going in the general right direction. Yeah. But, yeah. Can you I go mean, on? What I feel like I've been alluding to this whole chat is uh, the game's great. I have my flaws with these side quests for sure. They're not great at all. But the battle system is impeccable. The, the gameplay yep. is impeccable. I can't fault it. So, what I do say is, yeah, as I mentioned before, this is a lesson to get people who are into action adventure games more into these style games. And you've got into RPGs. Yeah, you've got unlimited IPs for this man. And I'm speaking selfishly here on. Yeah, we reference Tech Techno Man or Techno Man Blade, but I'll take you one up, Star. Imagine if they could do an Akira playthrough like this, <laughs> or a Lupin the Third. You know? Yeah, look, I think would that's cool, but the, the question at the day. Yeah, of course I would. I've exactly. played the shit out of both of them, but the thing is, like, are we a niche market? Like, people that really enjoy, you know, Japanese anime from the nineties, are we, are we, are we a niche? Um, and the thing is, it needs to make sense. It just has to make sense. Um, it does need to make sense, out. and you wouldn't do it for the sake of it, but. Exactly. You're gonna do it for the sake of it. Yeah, but whether it's Final 15 or FF7 Remake, they've stumbled upon some gameplay here. Uh, that is... Incredibly compelling. Yeah. Gotcha. Top, top quality gameplay. And all you need is the right IP, and this will land with everybody. Not necessarily for anime or RPG fans. No, I'm sure there's so many other games out here that play like this that I haven't played, but, you know. Brandon, I'm so surprised he's going the long way to reach his objective. Am I going the long way? This is the way I thought I should go. Yeah, yeah, I don't think you should change your course right now because you are almost there, but I'm just surprised it's taken so long for you to get there because... Oh, the other direction. Toted. Let's go. You did, yeah. Toted for the win. Going in. It's one way. Yeah, that's what I thought. I didn't feel like I could it's go another way. And you can go backwards on. Can you? You can at least just to get to the the prince's lair. Yeah, down here. But that's one way. That's where I'm going, right? Once you're back to the hallway, you can't go back. Okay, so I just... You can see it right there where you are, just down to your left. See that? That's where yeah, I that's need to it. go. Kaneo's vault. Yep. Good looking, good looking. Well, maybe I'm wrong. Okay. I mean, no, no. Uh, I would like to say maybe no, 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 I'm no. wrong. No, 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 stop. Other way, other way, other way. No, other way. the way. Oh, yep. Missed it. But yeah, could you imagine, dude? Akira. 
So what you're referring to specifically, Anthony, is mm-hmm. that, you know, we are with this, you know, combat battle game plan. Mm-hmm. We, with this, we are to take over the story, which would be, you know, Techno Man or Akira, etc. Easily. And... Oh my god, what have I got myself into? Here. Yeah, this is a tough battle. Tough battle. Just got toted! <laughs> oh, let's focus on the prince. Focus on the prince. He's the big boy. Fire. I, I, from from our previous discussions, I, you know, let's put this out here in the chat. I think the what you've previously um, proposed to me in terms of Tickham and Blade or Techno Man, I think that could really work well with this kind of battle. Yeah, I think I think it, you you're very much on the um, on the right track there. This is so funny that you're up on the stairs because I had this exact same battle like when I was preparing for the stream. Got caught up on the stairs and you have this odd battle like on the stairs. It's so funny that it takes place there because yeah. And and actually I think it places them in a strategically poor position, so go for it. Like hit them with every ability and every That's magic that you can. Yeah. They, I, I feel like these guys are kind of not in a strategically obvious position that is advantageous to them. Come on, drop this guy. That's good to heal up. Yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying. I just run out of a bit of MP for the cards, I'm just like... Let's just it up. Give us your best, mate. Oh, I got toted by Barret. That's why. All the times. Always toted. I'm not going out like this. Uh, pressured. Uh, gonna try something crazy here. Move that toad. After you. Let's go, Barrett. You can do it. What's going on here? He's got a ATB. There you go. Actually. Oh my god, he just got his limit too. Uh, freaking... <laughs> One more! Come on, Cloud. Get up. Uh, I need your limit. We still got a job to do. This time, of all the times. Let's dance, asshole. Let's dance. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Clutch. Wow. Last minute he comes through. Yeah. Look at that, look at that health. Way to get through it. Uh, collect your beauty. Like go through all these chests and get your beauty. Booty. Get my booty. Nice. Okay. Tough fight. Yeah. Yeah, it was tough. I agree. I had to think. I had to think a little bit there. Um, Don Caneo's secret stash. Okay then. Y'all think we got everything? So that's that side quest Question complete, is, right? Now what? It's not going to be easy selling this stuff. Oh, I know. What about Marl? We could ask her to help. Is I'm that sure um? What's her name? To. 101 Dalmatians. Cruella Deville. Cruella Deville. Brandon, Brandon, Brandon. Isn't it funny that we die a lot more in normal battle than boss battle? I mean, funny is not how I'd describe it. <laughs> no, but yeah, it's been a off stream. It's been a running joke between myself and Stone. That, um... 
Yeah, and that's why I keep saying it wouldn't be it wouldn't be us, man. It wouldn't be me, it wouldn't be us if we didn't die in these fashions. Because that's exactly how it is. Seem to die just to the easiest enemies or battles, if you will. But that's, that's... I, don't, I don't think that we necessarily like place any negative value on that. I think that um, we, you know it's it's a part of the gameplay because you're not going to win every battle. <laughs> Actually, I experienced that too on my first playthrough. Yeah, and you know what? I think Oliver made a, a valid point that we probably all like kind of within the stream of consciousness and conversation through the playthrough we skipped over. That yeah, the game tests you. The game says, "Oi, oi." You're getting a little bit too big for your britches here. Let me just show you that you need to just calm down. Yeah, constantly. Constantly the game is trying to do that to you. It's, I feel like it's actively trying to do that to you. It's mm. not so much Am an accident. Am I going the wrong way back? It's... Am I going to encounter enemies Yeah, no, just go the normal way. Yeah, you're going the right way. Go the path that yeah. Leslie set for you. Yeah. The one way, the one way system. Cool. Ready for this boss yeah. battle. Let's go. Is that like a rolled up? Hose? Yeah, I haven't seen one of those since I was like 13 in Australia. Nice. Well, <laughs> just kind of a little blast from the past. Extension hose lead, like, yeah. you know. Extension get... lead hose, yeah. Yeah. How good's extension lead? God. Sometimes you need power, sometimes you need exactly, electricity. Exactly, because like... immediately I think of an electricity lead, not a hose when you say extension lead. Wait, this was the shortcut that I should have taken? We will soon see. No! Don't make me hold up and then hold down. Come on, get off this ladder. Yeah, this is probably the shortcut I should have taken. Wait, do I go down or up? I'm a bit lost. Where is he? So you want to go down? Yeah. Sure. yeah. Alright, Prince Saigon. Yeah, it's one way. Nice. Cover the pee. Hey, get through, get through. Here we go. Alright, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Get to the music, get to the bench, have a seat, recover everything. I would like to say the beers are still cold and the buster sword still seems to be sharp. I mean, my, 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 my beers are also still cold. Right, the old, uh, the old cheese sword seems to be sharp, I should say. The hard edge seems to be. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Keep the beers cold and the cheese smooth with the hard edge. <laughs> it feels like something is commercial. Oh my god. Let's go. Wait. Wrong way. No? Right way? Not necessarily. I'm... Who knows? Who knows? No, I'm pretty sure that's the way I should have been going. Back. You're going the wrong direction there. Yeah, 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 I thought as much. Thank you, Brandon. Yeah, yeah. Down. No, there's no ladder here. Can't go through there, though. Turn around. Yeah, through the door. But that's where I came from. Really? Yeah. See? Well, then. Yeah, you go out. Do you know who this is killing? Sorry, Brandon. He's watching the stream on a delay, so he's like, wrong way, dickhead. Maybe it's down here. Nope, taped up. I'd go down there and go to the right. That's where I'd like to get to. Maybe this way. That's what I'm saying. Well, at least let me burst these boxes. <laughs> this way. Doesn't work? Nah. Other side. Down there? I thought this was the wrong way. No. Other side. Uh, yeah, to your to your right, like from where you are right now. Yeah, down there, down that ladder. You mean through this door? Oh, you can't. You can't. Why will that? Why will they not let you? Door of the Explorer Part Two. This is this is great. This is, yeah, this is what Brandon lives for to see us 
complain about loss. I mean, <laughs> Wait. it's funny that he says draw the explorer because it's like it's like Brandon and I have completed this game and we know like like the path lays itself in front of you, and Brandon will probably stand with me and say. We've never actually experienced these kind of situations where we don't actually know where to go because it is the path is always laid directly in front of you. So Brand and I so confused as to how you cannot find it. No slight against you. No slight against you. I know it sounds like we have been like, but <laughs> I'm gonna hello Stan. I'm gonna go back to the bench and I'm gonna reassess before I get even more lost. Just hold on, y'all. Straight. Then right. Oop, missed it. Through here. Okay, now we like, have the bench. Like, I thought it would be further on from here. Like, you gotta keep going from here. Yeah, down there, down that path. That's where I came from, though, no? No, Straight. no, no, you gotta go down there, and then... Ah, oh, straight. You're right, I missed it. Just straight through here. My yeah, yeah. Two benches? That's right. Yeah, two confused. benches. Exactly. Two just, benches. Just ask me. Two benches. Easy, easy. Yeah. Anyone can get confused. Ah, fire. Get fire equipped if you can. Like, just stand up and equip fire to everyone. I have Fiagra. Fiagra? Is that like a kind of, you know. Mate, have you seen my material? Fiagra equipped. Was on this one? Yeah, level three, fire grow. Am I wrong? No, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, make all the penis jokes you will. I'm still gonna call it fire grow. That's kind of what I was leaning towards. I was just like, <laughs> no, that's what I was selling from the first time. Buy this over the gas station. Okay, here we go. Fire's equipped. So maybe my video. Decent. So my video has been uploaded. Nice. Share it with us, dude. It's Leslie. Got some urgent info for the Don. Let's go. Mm -hmm. He's been hiding down here. Of course. Really? Without my little avalanche kittens. Such a Weasley bastard. I told you to round yeah, them up and bring them to Weasley me. bastard. Actually, it's them I came to talk about. Hmm. Uh. Stephen, the seediness about his beard or lack of thereof. <coughs> Come on, Leslie. That was a rookie. Move. Leslie's got nothing, mate. Leslie. I don't think I need to remind you why I'm down here. Spilling the beans to those three escape artists was a serious mistake. Now I'm on Shinra's shit list. The place stunt was meant to be an unprecedented tragedy, claiming countless innocent lives. Like he's a but he's a fat bastard. Like I think he didn't get to that point without knowing what he's doing. I'll let you in on a secret. Shinra is going to abandon Midgar and build something close to paradise. I was invited to be a part of it. Dawn of a new and improved wall market! But he wasn't, though, was he? He was being used. I'll be lucky to live another week. Yes and no. Ah. These type of guys, Listen, corporation pulls them in because they I need... I was going to let you run your own place. I like the burger meat hanging out his chest. That's a pretty cool touch. <laughs> what I feel like there's, there's a certain Where's amount... Time, of... Villains like us only divulge our evil Yo, if Corporate interest have, there, and there's a, a certain amount of just, you know, he's being that controlled. Situation. That's, that's yeah, my course. thoughts. If we ever have a dress-up party, full well I'm going Don Canary. <laughs> I will gladly um, <laughs> take photos of that. If you... Have the Buster Sword equipped? Would the show Buster Sword there? Talking about the yeah, of course it would. Play. Keep talking, asshole. Yeah, but if you have something a different sword equipped, it will show Over a different there. sword. There, That's why you, this game us. takes up so much memory in your hard drive thing. because so all these different cutscenes. Yeah. yeah, exactly. When it's true. 
Would you care if it did show the Buster Sword? There he is, this thing. Not, Not really. It's fucking Jabba the Hutt. Good, Abzu! Feel free to play with your food. Donna. Best! Fire, eh? Let's go, Abzu. Let's get here for it. Oh, more little goons. Little Pumbas. First him. Forget his goons, just hit yeah. him with his fire as much as possible. Viagra on Abzu. Deal with that. Watch and learn. Spells Fire Abzu. Oh, this is gonna burn. Come on. Arcane Ward, Arcane Ward. <laughs> can't do that without error. Yeah, so I mean, you need to be inventive as to how you're going to do this fight with, without her. You want to cast a lot of magic, you want to cast a lot of fire, and it's just basically how it is. You just have to do that without error, though. So, so like, yeah. every individual, every individual just. Doing the exact same thing, you know, casting fire on them. What's he doing? That the poison sludge. He's doing his his typical attack, which is basically yeah, throwing the sludge around. Mm -hmm. It seems to have its effect sometimes, and it will kill your whole party. But then. At other times it won't, so it's hard to say to you, hey, you know, take care because of the effect of this particular attack or, or not, because sometimes it's effective and sometimes it isn't. Yeah. But I think you're plan of attack is still correct here. Forget the little one and just go to the yeah. big one. Gonna need to do some MP. Even, even a fire will be okay if you cast just a fire. Why is it bad? So here's my question, how does the summon work? So for specific fights, it will come out. You know what I mean? So, like you to leave this... Yeah, but, but not for every boss fight. You know? Not for every fight. The summon won't come out just for every fight or every boss fight. So it has to be a particular kind of boss fight, boss fight or a particular kind of... Yeah, normal fight. Stop that shit. Phase two. Let's go. Yep. Dying little widgets. Whatever they are. <laughs> I don't know, what would you call them? Just like yeah, mini, widgets, widgets is fair. Any abthus. Okay, okay, I'm out of uh, MP. Oh no, I've got it. Abs Viagra. Let's get you standing on your own. Let's go. Viagra. Whoosh. Someone comes out when battle is dragging on too long, your party is in a critical situation. I want to notice. Nice. Good work, Brandon. Yeah, so it's kind yeah, of like a... basically. Like, if you look like you are in trouble, then, like, it'll try and help you out. But if you're not doing that, then maybe not. And the fact that you've got the zone right now... My God. It's building up. 
Like it's it's a blessing, a curse. If you if you want to feel like you're the man, then maybe that's not the thing you want to see right now. <laughs> Well, here's where, if that is the case, I'm not saying that's wrong, but here's where I disagree with that. Because, it's like, have you ever played Uncharted? Uncharted's a very good game. But what it does is it does these things where, how did, how, what, how did you die doing How did living? that happen? Wow. She was kicking butt right there. Like, and, and I mean, ri literally, like, she was literally kicking butt. Gonna summon. Last chance, give an ATB out. Let's get this summon going. Last chance, Ifrit. Come on, Ifrit. Okay, fair play, fair play. Fair play. Ooh, sad. I see it. I sad see it. Times. Yeah. Um, but I guess, like, what I'm annoyed at is if, if that's how your summons come out, like, when you play Uncharted, right, the thing is, they have these multiple enemies that shoot at you. Um, first ever being KO'd while doing a limit. Well, yeah, wouldn't be me, Brandon. Wouldn't be me. <laughs> I'm defying the physics of the battle system right now, as you see through this whole playthrough, and I'm doing it with elegance and grace, the opposite direction of what you expect. <laughs> but yep, <laughs> when you play Uncharted, right? It like there's a lot of gunfire on you but what it makes it do is like when gunfire is close to you you become quicker or your aim it has auto assist for you to make you feel like you're doing more in a moment of need which i disagree with because it, it makes it a more action-packed game um there was clear was there there was a vending machine across here so i need to buy more ether that's what i need to do because that's uh, what we ran in the room out. yeah yeah both we ran out uh, YouTube link. Cool, yeah. Cheers, Brandon. We'll, we'll give it a look. We'll give it a look, man. Um, my fight is still missing. They still need cleaning up, but I defeated it. Awesome, dude. Okay, ethers. Oh, I've got I've got Mad Bank. I can buy a bunch. I think I only need four. That'll be good. Let's get some Phoenix Downs. I'll be sipping on them like they're going crazy. Yeah, we'll definitely give you a video a watch, uh, Brandon, and um, don't know the best way to contact, but maybe through Twitter or whatever, give you a quick uh, response that way. Yay, follow us on Twitch, just send us a whisper on Twitch. Whisper, how lame is that? Just send us a message. I know it's Twitch Leslie. calls it a whisper. Got some urgent info for the Don! Um, what's the skip cutscene? Hold it. Uh, triangle. Yeah, well, let me... Uh, crack that first because it wouldn't be beers and buster swords if i didn't have a beer on the go this is the most engaged i've been in this whole chapter by the way this these side quests are just not for me absu for me i'm, I'm all on absu hey i mean he's all about fire like if you can just pound him with fire this fire's over in two seconds i'm trying <laughs> Guess it's my turn. Pressured. Let's go again. Just gonna do fire non stop. Yep, just bombard him. Phase like two. That, see oh, is this phase one? Phase one, baby. No, you just switch him over to phase two. Because you, you know, push those hard attacks on him. Kind of looks like he's wearing a hood. With his skin just so sort of crumpled and shit. Hey, 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 hey. Too crazy. Just more fire. I got you. Time to burn. Time to burn. Good call, Brad. Let's go. Deal with that. Let's do this. 
I mean, holy he shit. He comes at you, doesn't he? He, like, uh, really comes at you. Pushing it. There is a kind of cool aspect that, like, Absu is, like, a bit of a G, you know? Like, as opposed to the first one, where he's just in that two screen suit. I think the amount of character building that he's subjected to is same in both, and it's more or less, like, you know, you're the pet of... Don Cuneo. Um. If only they put that same amount of character building into the side quest. <laughs> <laughs> you're not. Yeah, yeah. You're not, like, too far from the realm of possibility and what people Look at all these little sure would think. Yeah, just. You know what? Let's go. Ether, put it on yourself, Cloud, and then. Use fire girl on all of these monsters. Ooh, here comes the summon. Doesn't think I can do it. I'll let you know. Ooh, I can do this. Wow. What? Look at you go. Is that good like, or bad? Like, what's going on? From a no, no, it's good. But like, from like a commentary basis, like, of all the different singular things that are going on at one particular, you know, point in time, it's it's quite impressive. But you have to beat the enemy, so all obviously we were all standing. No, in stay up, stay up, stay up, stay up, Cloud, stay up. Oh, you motherfucker! You motherfucker! Right then, right then, no, right then, I was about to pull. Pull the one and only out. Raise him up. Raise him up. Go to your phase three for like your fuck, mate. What is Chief going on? Deal. Come on, Cloud. Let's switch it up. Oh my fuck, this is getting intense. You were just saying? You were just saying, so? Uh cure. Let's go, bring Cloud up. Don't give up. Okay, Cloud, you got it. Yep. Keep up. Fucking hell. Bring him in. Bring him in. Bring the big boy in. Ifrit. Yeah. Like, Ifrit is the right choice. Like, <laughs> I know. He's going to clean up this battle. If any summon's going to come in and, yeah, clean house for me, it's going to be Ifrit. Pushing it. And items. Ooh, actually, can't help myself. That was such a bad choice. <laughs> okay, so this is a real boss, yeah? Like, cause I've been running around doing all this dumb shit, chasing it's a real cats, boss. Get, chasing chocolate fires on board. Can we, let's just have a quick revamp of your, your whole situation. I think that'll help us both. Uh, I personally always enter defensive mode when he does playtime. Yeah. Didn't, what's playtime? I didn't realize, maybe I missed it. He does this thing where he kind of like, like bangs his chest and jumps up into okay. places where you can't hit him and then he makes this sewer swipe, like the whole sewer comes out and attacks you, so. This may feel like a dumb thing to say, but what's defensive mode? Just blocking? Yeah. Okay. But, I mean, you got to know what he's going to attack you with and then block against that. So, can we go into the, your menu? Yeah, just so I want to see if there's any... Because uh, the headbutt is unblockable, Barrett's steel skin is only useful here. Yeah, I'm not a fan of steel skin as we've seen. Is there any kind of like bigger big ethers? No, I've got them all. Cool. It's the only time it's useful. Yeah, exactly. Let's uh, have a look at the menu. No, I, I like to think I'm pretty set up. I just I got the healing healing got away from me then. I'm pretty sure. Show me show me your fire. 
tell me like where every fire is. That's where it should be. It should Remove be ice. Remove. Yeah, and then put like a, a yellow or a, a purple for that. Prayer. <laughs> Devi dodge. For example, does he already have that? No, Tifa did not. Barret's got Magnify with Fire, he's got Poison Auto Cure, Chakra. Yeah, no, I think, um, I think we're good, I think we're good. Let's take off Ice. Let's put Fire. fire. Yep, yeah, Spare Space. We want, like, let's have a look, what we get for yellows and purple materials? Makes me feel so stupid when you guys point this thing out. Not that that's a bad thing, I don't mind feeling stupid. I just What's want Magic up there? Like, go back. See, magic up is with Barrett. Does he really have that? Or yeah. are we with Barrett right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this one. No. Is this Tifa? Got it. Yeah, no, it's good. Uh, let's take a breather. Let's cut some. Let's cut some cheese with the hard edge. Let's get ready to get back into. Let's get ready to get back into battle. I feel confident about this one. I feel really confident. This is in a boss that I felt like I can't beat, as opposed to other bosses. Can we hit save? <laughs> Do I have to save? I thought the bench no. saved. It, no. If you look at the top left corner, there should be like, you know, saving. Saving. Rough waters, that's so long ago. Is it? Or is that... The it's sewer? Override it. Override it. Mm. Let's go. Trying. It's Leslie, got some urgent info for the dog. She can see my hands are busy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's only one thing cutscenes are useful for: propelling the story forward and keeping it up. Beer's cold. Buses. Let's go. Lock on. Lock on, baby. Lock on. Absu. I'm gonna choose the old fire route. How many bottles today? Uh, well, it's the same every time, Brandon. Yes. And you need to be concerned about um, how much MP you're yeah, that's exerting why I'm using fire, in every battle. Fire like, but has that been a, a problem up until now? That's my question. Yes, because I had to use it once or twice. Basically, okay. I'm here for. A good time, not a long time. No, I'm here for a long time, not a good time. Let's let's throw one That's in. Let's just see fair what it does. Fair assessment. Fair assessment. Yeah. Oosh. 1500 it does. Yeah, man. Every single attack you want to be doing that. Let's go another fire run. Petrol station pills. Let's go. Tifa wants it too. I know. Well, mate. You're speaking my language there, bro. <laughs> Tifa wants it to. Uh, how many bottles, Brandon? Well, see, every week before the stream, I uh, finish whatever work I have to do and I walk down the car and. Yeah, I buy these small cases of these little uh, Budweiser beers. So it's the same every week. We're roughly sitting around the same as last week, if you remember. Just yeah, like, yeah, I'm, I'm at yeah. the same as last week, too. Kind of a nice, cool tradition. Kind of like it. Well, actually, I wanted to like finish this stream with half the amount of beers that I have there, but <laughs> sometimes it just doesn't happen because of my incompetence. No, I think that has more to do with the stream than anything oh, else. Gotcha. Lock on, baby. Oh, I should have held defense. What's defense? Triangle L L one. That's my. Oh, something like that? Normally yeah, you that have the, the HUD <laughs> up on your screen, like to your left, but we, yeah. we cancelled that out. Yeah. Didn't like it. Burn, baby. Actually, we got to uh, get Cloud healed, so. <laughs> Here we go. It's like, you're, like, you're like right up his butt, and you're like, yeah. let's just like burn, baby, burn. <laughs> Yeah, the problem is he's got all these little mates. 
kind of burnt. Yeah. yeah. How are you not just firing? Okay, so close to being pressured. Come on, pressure this bitch. Phase three, baby. Let's go. go. Phase three, yeah. Babies hate it. They're all dying. Even he blocks his yeah. own attack. Well, the great thing about OG is that his own attack actually hurts him. Yeah. So, it makes the game easier. Some eaters out there, right? I don't know, it feels that way. Summon! Coming in, just stay up, stay up. Oh, yeah, got you, got you, got you. Get in the mix. Let's go, get in the mix. He hates it, does not like it. Fight's not over yet. Bring it. Get those horns. Alright. You fucking clown. Wow. <laughs> See that shit? Fuck these little things, that's what's doing it. Come on, come on, get some in. Not great. Tifa. Let's try. Still up for so much. Oh my fuck. I can't believe it. I was feeling so confident. Have have you ever felt paralyzed with rage? <laughs> <laughs> like you can't you can't say anything. You're just um, paralyzed. Uninstall. Uh, what, what's your uh, instinctive reactions right there? It's just mm. this game uninstall right now. Do not need this. It's gone. Goodbye. Yeah. Um, putting a shift in today. Yeah, man. Oh, Turbo Shack. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Fuck. Fucking. Yeah, mate. Long time no speak. Putting a shift in today, mate. Um, yeah. That one hurt. That one hurt because I actually thought we were there. I thought we were there. Turbo Shack is so, given, given okay. us more life. Yep. You, you didn't want to revise anything before we no, walked into no, this battle? I thought, I, thought it was, no? I thought I made those mistakes. No, no, no. I feel like you need to look at your accessories because I feel like there's a couple that you could look at. But anyway, Turbo Shack, great to have you on board again. Um, Actually, been in and out of the stream about eight times. Lol in capital yeah. letters. Yeah. What are it's your thoughts? Shift, I mean, we've covered, dude, we have covered a lot of stuff. Love to hear your thoughts, Turbo Shack. I think we should ask him. In a, and he'll get this because uh, he's a basketballer. In a playoff setting, Turbo Shack, you know, in a bracket, NCAA, March Madness style playoff setting. Gunblade to those three or Buster Sword a in a matchup. Who moves forward now I'm to the final? You know, the plate stunt what do you prefer? To be an unprecedented tragedy 
Really hear. Yeah, I mean, I hope Turbo Shack obviously has a bit of knowledge of FF8 as well, otherwise... Buster Sword! Whoa! Woo. Oh, oh, shit! I had the beer in my hands. Okay, we're here, we're here, we're good. Let's go. So, that's clearly... that out, uh, I'm gonna win this. It's on you. Yeah, we'll give it a go, we'll give it a go, I mean... I think, really... Actually, like when we think about it, you did have Brandon saying Gunblade, and it was me who was saying Buster Sword. Really, if you want to, if you want to break it down, then I'm the Buster Sword guy, and Brandon is FFA guy. So. And I want to really, like, you know, assert that this person has whatever kind of perspective and. Say so that's what, Mate, like how they feel about the subject. But at one point, you do need to draw the line and say, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, but that's the thing. Shaq just said, do you know how much weight there is behind the Buster Sword? That's not what we're talking about. Right. Just pure, pure yes, matchup. Yes, no. no, 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 no. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm half half with that Turbo Shaq because I feel like the Buster Sword has so much weight. You're right, like, fully behind you. However, within the context of FF7, because if we look at FF8, like, does a Buster Sword make sense in FF8? No, it doesn't. And when you see the gunplay, when you see Squall's, like, gunplay, you're like, that's slick. Like, that deserves to be there. That is, a, that is an item that... Yeah. More than 100 pounds? Lol. I love right. that it's coming down to this. This proves how right. good the gunblade is, that this type of intricate No, no, but the gunblade is, is sleek, and it has little weight behind it, which is something you should kind of, like, consider, because I feel like that too. When you look at the weight of a gunblade, it does not hold the same presence as the buster sword, because the buster sword is just massive. Like, it's got this huge physical space that encompasses which means when you swing this thing the physics behind it means chop whereas See, a gun stole, blade stole, stole, stole. hold on hold on i gotta i gotta disagree a tiny bit it seems like that because of the original animations for the og and they've just extended that to this however ff8 and the gun blade was proportional. And it's not supposed to be. It's not supposed to be. Yeah, I know, but it's like, it, it, don't tell me the gun blade doesn't look weighty. Gun mm. blades are more common than grenades. Lol. Don't mind it. Don't mind the comment. But, um. <laughs> No, but I, what, what I was saying before in the stream was that you have two utilities, two applications, and they both kind of draw their weight towards each one. Like, if you wanted to tell me that a gun blade has its place in FF7, I'd be like, You're crazy. Like, look somewhere else. And then if you said to me, well, the Buster Sword, like, that's what we need to be looking at with, um, you know, Laguna or... Uh, Cypher or any of the you know main characters of FF8 I'm like no you're barking up the wrong tree exactly incorrectly as you just were it's just not compute it does not factor in I'm not interested it's not like a buster sword it's where it needs to be in FF7 Gunblade on Vincent, fair enough, because he, uh, rifle had a small knife back in World War One era, so, okay, so you're talking about, like, a musket, really, uh, and to run into battle with a musket means, um, it's not just about firing weapons, and really, the idea behind that is, I've run out of bullets to shoot, so that means all I have is... Like a blade 
at the end of my rifle, which I'm going to use to try and like stab people because there's no bullets in the rifle left to shoot. Do you know what I mean? So that was the only reason behind a musket. Yeah. It's not the most practical way to, like, you know, wage a war. Like, it was the last resort. So... The gunblade is something different. Like, you're going into battle to do a combination of blade damage and whoa, gun whoa, whoa, damage Brian. at the same whoa, time. Whoa, whoa. You can't be changing opinion. No, 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 no. <laughs> We will tolerate many things. We will tolerate many things in this playthrough, but not the changing of opinions. <laughs> no, definitely change your opinion. I don't, however. No, no, no. I don't think it's necessarily a matter of changing opinion. I think it's more You're up. choose your application to your utility. That's what I'm saying. I think that's what we need to be focusing more on here. Is like if you want to get into the battle, you know, if you really want to get into the nitty gritty between All right, gun, gun blades blade and, and and normal swords, then it just depends on the application. And when you've got a squall who's a mercenary who's going out one for one like every day against anything you can really to be a mercenary, then I can kind of understand the fact that a gunblade is going to help you in both situations. The fact that you're going to try and overcome any sort of adversary... Adversary? Sorry for the uh, infliction there. Adversary. And you're going to do it through whatever means possible, so... No! That's not good. Let's go here for it. Bring it home, clutch it up. Ifrit could be your winner. Yes, Ifrit! Yes! <laughs> Let's wow. go! Ifrit is life, Ifrit is love. Ifrit isn't just a summon, he's a lifestyle. And I knew he would come through. He would come through in the clutch. Oh, the god delivers again. Yes, Turbo Shack. Ifrit. My god, let's heal up. Baby. <laughs> Did he just not, like... <laughs> Did he just not, like... like oh, Reef you out of the unimaginable situation that you would win that? Just like... pulled me out of the abyss. <laughs> just went, nope. Not you today. Coming back here. Oh, my god. Yo, because I actually was like trying to focus on this fight, but listen in to Gunblade vs. Buster, hashtag Gunblade. But I was worried I was gonna I was gonna fail it one more time. I feel like it was more my presence than if it to be honest. Yeah, Turbo Shack, you did give a little bit of energy. I gotta I'm not gonna lie. Little bit of energy, but I mean Ifrit. I will not have the Lord's name taken in vain if you if you feel me. There's a there's a bench just outside here, so there's really no point in healing yourselves. Um, yeah, I mean that would have been cool if you told me before. <laughs> Let's go. It was, it was okay? Quite <gasps> plain. Where's Cornel? Sorry, bastard got away. It's fine. I'll track him down eventually. Not like I have anything better to do. You know, I wouldn't be so sure about that. Go on, Tiva. Speak on it. She could still be out there. Yes, Tifa. You can never be sure how much someone means to you till they're gone. Don't give up on her yet. Was it a message? What was she trying to tell me? We'll meet again. Huh? It's a symbol of reunion. Pretty sure he doesn't want the other chick after Tifa touched him. I'd feel the same way. Huh. Five hour stream today, I know. I, I died too many times. Apologies, first. Brandon. Hmm. Apologies, everyone. Fuck. Thanks. 
Hold up. Obviously I not our um, aim this evening to go for that long. Yeah. Talk about a real life would be quest. gone that long. <laughs> wow. I hope you uh yeah. Let's get out of here. And then I'll give you what you need. Yeah, I hope you I hope you all don't mind sticking by for, you know. I'm gonna go sit on the bench, and then I'm gonna just go up the stairs. And I wait. That's not where the bench is. They no, just bench. just go up the stairs. There's nothing. Nothing. Oh yeah, let's go. Like, yeah, there's no reason not to. Okay, I get that you want, it. but we've done every side quest down here, so we're pretty much good to go. Um, we we are heading up to, you know, the wall and. That is basically the next part of this playthrough. You've accomplished basically everything you can. Maybe there's the one or two like quick uh, side quests we could do, just like just to finish it off, because you've you've plainly completed them. Mm. For example, we could just go for a wander over to Marl and just to finish that particular side quest off. Nice. Have a good one, Brandon. Oh, Brandon, you, you're not going to finish. You're not going to finish much. We're basically just finishing up now. Yeah. So, uh, taste that sweet Midgar smog. <laughs> this way. Let's go, Leslie. Grappling guns. You can practically fly with the souped-up motors on these babies. Batman. Leslie's Robin Hood. Sector 7 is Robin. on the other Sorry. side of that wall. <laughs> Batman. You over and past it, <laughs> along with any number of other obstacles. Is that a new thing, to throw in a Simpsons reference at the end of every playthrough? But they're one-way tickets. It's not Batman. So once you start up, <laughs> there's no coming back. <laughs> probably get your affairs in order. In wow. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, that was funny. Didn't tell you gets before, me every time, we're looking bro. for someone too. Is that right? Yeah, go on, mate. Check her out. Go and look fun. her up. You too. Although, I mean, in context of FF7, go and find her. But in context of life, just go find another one. Dude, Look at the way he runs. I know. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to accomplish, mate? <laughs> Let's go. Hmm. Okay. And here we go. Return to Mal? Yeah, do that. Let's okay. just get that out of the way. If that's if that's what it's offering you, then let's just do it. I agree. Let's finish on the return to Mile. Jesus. I mean, I've made my uh, thoughts on these side quests quite clear. Here she Everyone is, Colohara Deville. Yo, how many 101 Dalmatians have you done oh, so far? what brings you here? Gifts from an angel. Yeah, yeah what Get brings you? To help the people of Sector 7 rebuild. The angel of the slums? Puppy felt. You didn't meet her, did you? Tell me, what was she like? Never met her. Just her go-between. A shame. Oh, bless her sweet soul. How'd she know she was a I she? I don't know what to you say. Know? I'll make sure the funds are put to good use. Here, why don't you take this? So Mal knows everything. You can use Mal it does know me. everything, you're right. Okay. What are your leftover, like, side quests for this? Like, just hit... Yeah, and then... Right. Doctor. Done. Cleared, 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 cleared. Like, what have you not cleared? This Subterranean mess? That's Corella for Deville, affected with the T virus. Lol. Shout out to Resident Evil. Shout out to Resident Evil. Like, do you, what do you have to do? Do you. It says somewhere in the Sector Slicks. Sector Slicks? Sl wow. Sector 6 slums. Subterranean menace. Yeah, talk to Weimar. That's Weimar. what you need to do. That's yeah. what I need to do. Where is he? Right here. Look at you. The folks from Wall Market have brought us. You took care of those monsters. Oh, thank you. 
That's one less big problem to worry about. We owe you. I know it's tough right now, but stay strong, you hear? All right, Connor. You too, buddy. Yeah, but hey, we're all good, mate. We're grounded. <laughs> we don't break easy. <laughs> I know it's not much, but take this with my Ooh, thanks. Oh, Barrett got the wrecking ball. Cool. Okay. Right. So that's it. Do you want to? Do you want to head to the wall? Yeah. Let's let's sit on this bench first in case anything nasty comes up, and then we'll run to this wall. Um. We talked about this particular, I guess, chapter or episode of this playthrough style before we did uh, engage in this. And you said it's, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be some side quests. Let's get to some side quests. And I was really excited by it. But after playing it through, it's actually made me think less of the game. Not in a, you know, doesn't deserve all its accolades kind of way, just... It's not really poor. Can I not go to the right there? I'm gonna go here. You can go to exactly where you want to go through. Yeah. Is yeah. We've 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 touched on the flaws that these side quests present. They don't add to the story. They don't actually engage you in any way. It's fluff, and it's basically about. Well, what, two, three hours, if you're lucky, if you're not rushing through them, and we're doing a little bit of both, cruising and rushing through some stuff. It's probably the lowest point of the game so far for me. Just after the plate fell, just after the connection I felt I had with Avalanche as, I guess, a newer player. It's probably the pacing, man. I just, I didn't wish to feel this straight away. Wait, now I'm lost. I thought I went just just right no I have no idea where you are you look like you're in sector 5 to be yeah, I'm supposed fair to go, I'm supposed to go here yeah okay. click that that's where that's you want to go Sam's delivery station but they're all called Sam's delivery station is my point ah okay yeah go to triangular masculine you're at sector 5 station so just go to no, get out of that the six somewhere. Yeah, and then go to that, and so wall market. Wait, wait, go to your left, left. There, wall market, urban advancement district. That's where you want to go. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's a perfect example. I shouldn't have to endure this type of stuff. Come on, let's ride. That doesn't actually add to the storyline. Well. <sighs> I mean, we, we finished off the last chapter with some very deep uh, lore, very deep mm. information when it comes to this game. Some very specific things that you need to know. So if we're going to head into you know the next portion of the game, these sorts of things are actually quite important to know. But basically you're left with one option right now and that is to ready you know, to do this there's the once we start up that wall the, we won't be coming back here anytime yeah. soon it's the graffiti on the wall right there avalanche it's so cool like the way it's just been sprayed that way like there are actually people who believe in this there's a resistance mm. and you know you've got a following whereas if you were to look at the beginning of the chapter what you were actually exposed to was people who are against that ideology and do not believe that there is actually a chance for avalanche and it's cool to see it on a wall to be sprayed on it you know because barrett did actually feel quite disheartened and it was like you know you know that's not us and blah 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 the gang is going to find itself jumping over a wall and we are actually heading up to the Shinra Tower in an effort to just find our friend, basically. We want to get yeah, Aerith. Yeah, we want to go Aerith. rescue Aerith. I'm with that. Yep. I'm with that and I'm with all this. I just think, you know, it was a lengthy stream, give or take my deaths. And... I don't feel any of it was conducive to trying to get Aerith back. It could have been written a bit better. It's probably my first major gripe as to why this wouldn't be looked at as the perfect release or a great remake. 
and I can see why there's beef because everything else up until this point to my opinion was just nitpicking they was like oh you didn't well. like that you didn't like this but I just well. felt like it's like the collapsed highway just expanded upon you know it's just like clearly I mean if they didn't have this in and they didn't have collapsed highway and they didn't have these side missions would you be upset and be like the remix too short I don't think you would I think this would be like, oh, this is too long. I don't know. Who knows what's about to happen? Well, this is the thing. Like, like if you felt this was long, or if you felt like this wasn't quite up to your expectations, then I, I feel with you, and I say, look, cool. Let's wait for the next periods of the game, because I we're, we're clearly not through with this game, and we are edging on you know the end of it but we're not quite at the end and there are definitely some more juicy bits to get through mm. and um if if you're really gonna have a gripe with this game when it comes to side quests then there's definitely one more particular dungeon we need to get our eyes on and that will come up in a okay. better stream so thank nice. you very much for everybody who has joined us up until this point and who has followed us, and yeah. yeah, hopefully we'll see you for the next stream.